In fact, Martin Lee can understand Kraft's behavior in remodeling the house, but it happened so suddenly that he didn't have any mental preparation to make him so gloomy. So after Martin Lee came back to his senses, he quickly squeezed his right hand into a fist, put it to his mouth and coughed twice, and changed the subject decisively and stiffly. How long will it take you to collect information? Kraft glanced contemptuously at Martin Lee, soon. Search is complete, search is complete. Before Kraft's words fell, Harrow's electronic sound rang, and the pictures of the several screens in the room also stabilized one by one, showing all the content related to the news just now. The main content, Harrow was placed on the screen that it projected on the wall, so after searching, Harrow actively dimmed the lights in the room so that Kraft could see more clearly. Quickly scanning the relevant information on the wall, Kraft roughly figured out what the green monster was. To put it simply, a car belonging to the military picked up someone from an airport in Brooklyn. When it was driving into the city, the green monster suddenly jumped out of the car. Because the incident happened suddenly and the military had not had time to block the news, Harrow easily found the surveillance screen near the accident site and further traced the incident to the state of New Mexico where the incident originated. However, when he searched further down, he found that they came out of a desert in New Mexico. Harrow will not be able to find out what is going on in the desert unless it invades the military database. Which unit does this car belong to? Hearing Kraft's question, Harrow quickly called out a report and projected it on the wall. The report showed the unit to which the car belonged and indicated that the head of this unit was Thaddeus, General E. Ross. Scientists who have been in contact with General Ross for the past two years and who have recently stayed in New Mexico have been transferred to me. Kraft thought for a while, then continued to order. Harrow quickly complied. Then Kraft screened out some of the researchers who were obviously showcasing, had been abandoned or had produced results, and those who were unlikely to create green monsters, and finally locked the target on a physics named Bruce Banner. The scientist. Speaking of Bruce Banner, it is also a well-known existence in academia. His level of genius is not inferior to Tony Stark, a playboy, and he has been studying gamma rays in recent years, and gamma rays are a ray that is very prone to mutation, is a well-known existence among all scientists. To be honest, Bruce Banner dared to use gamma rays as his research direction, and Kraft admired it very much. Those who admire him are not afraid of death. In addition, in the comics about Captain America, gamma rays are also mentioned, saying that Captain America can succeed, in addition to the super soldier serum there is also the catalysis of gamma rays. Later, because of curiosity, Kraft collected a little bit of information and found that most of the content in the comics was not deceptive except for some beautifications in the comics. Kraft did not find out the specific details of the Captain America experiment. Judging from the reality of the comics, and the appearance of this green monster in front of him, it might be true. I don't know what the official people think. Kraft initially thought that adding gamma rays was the wrong direction of the experiment. America deliberately dug holes in the comics to pit other countries, but now it seems. It's an old lasagna. A fresh but apt vocabulary popped out of Kraft's head. So, this is a product of the Super Soldier Project. Lao Mei really likes doing human experiments. Thinking of human experiments, Kraft became even more disgusted with Bruce Banner on the screen. Hey, after all, the military has always wanted to replicate a Captain America again. Martin Lee smiled contemptuously and said to Kraft, in fact, I suspected that the people behind the Magia gang might be the military at first, but I haven't been able to find any clues. Instead, I found some cobwebs. The horse trail has ruled out the military. It may also be a smoke bomb. Kraft speculated, but quickly shook his head and denied his idea. No, it's not necessary. If it's the military, there is no need to cover it up like this. It's just a few, lower nations. Yes, I think so too. Martin Lee nodded and agreed, then he reached out and patted Kraft on the head. It's not anxious, your little robot is indeed very powerful, but remember not to be caught by anyone. Then you can rest assured. It's not me who blows, Haro's invasion ability may be a bit short, but the escape technique is definitely the world's top level. Kraft patted his chest, proudly showed off a few words, and then looked at Martin Lee with hindsight. Eh. I don't know you bastard. Martin Lee glared at him irritably. Last time you agreed so easily, I knew you wouldn't let it go. It's just that I didn't expect you to be able to do it this way. Martin Lee glanced at the red harrow who was flapping Roar's wings on TV, and exclaimed heartily. Hey hey. Kraft stroked the back of his head shyly. I don't know much about technology, but the most important thing is to be cautious and don't expose yourself. Martin Lee, who knew he couldn't restrain Kraft, reminded him. Kraft nodded sternly, indicating that he had listened. As for the identity of Martin Lee in secret, and how many magical props Kraft still has, the father and son were tacitly aware and did not question each other. Or we should think about going back. 
After reading the information about the green monster, the family was sitting at the dinner table eating dinner, Kraft suggested again. America is doing personal tests at every turn. What if another moth comes out someday? If nothing else, just say this monster today. If he appears near us, my inventions will not stop it, he. Although Kraft was talking about a green monster, what he was thinking about was the terrible zombie virus in his dream. Don't worry, the world is not as simple as you think. There are many people in New York who have special abilities. The special crowd craft in Martin Lee's mouth actually knew it. He had seen it before when he was collecting information on the Magia gang, such as Rhino, Daredevil, and Superman, but he didn't think these people can fight the fat green man in the video. Seeing Kraft's disdain, Martin Lee sighed helplessly. And, do you think there are no special humans on the other side of the ocean? Why do you think I don't want to go back? Listening to this, Martin also has a special ability? Kraft gave Martin Lee a surprised look. Although he had guessed that his adoptive father was the so-called Mr. Negative film, he did not investigate further. Respecting each other's privacy is a tacit understanding between father and son. All right, think about it carefully, if the zombie virus really breaks out like in a dream, it doesn't seem to make a difference wherever he goes, so he won't insist anymore. It's just about the technology in the dream, and I need to further strengthen my study. Because of the emergence of the green monster, Kraft has a rare sense of urgency. He has to pick up the biological research that he has resisted before. At least when there is a resident crisis, he must be able to find a solution. Ability. In addition to spending more time in the laboratory, Kraft also asked Harrow to continue to follow the intelligence of the green monster. Although soon after that day, the military and a mysterious force were working hard to block the news, but who let that big man make trouble so much? In just a few days, he was chased and intercepted by the military, rushed across America, and finally broke through the entire America, fled to the border of Mexico, and finally disappeared. It is precisely because of the activeness of this big green man that Kraft has collected a lot of useful information. That green monster called himself Hulk. Judging from his performance in surveillance, besides being very irritable, his brain is not very smart, and what shocked Kraft is that Hulk's body is actually Bruce Banner. I'm a ruthless guy. Actually experimenting with myself. It just feels a bit unscientific. Kraft looked at the intelligence gathered by Harrow and muttered to himself. I think the technology that made us speak, elder brother, is actually quite unscientific, and eldest sister, she is actually a robot. Quinn leaned his head in front of the screen, spitting out while sticking out his tongue, because Alice is usually in the state of an ordinary soft cute girl, Quinn and Beja have no idea that she is actually a robot, just think Alice the smell and voice on her body are a bit strange. It wasn't until the two of them were fighting too fiercely that Alice had to turn on the trapping net launcher that Kraft had installed on her shoulder and put the cat and dog on the net, that they understood Alice's truth. Identity. Quinn was so scared that he even forgot to say the mantra of, shocked. Agree meow. Beja, who was lying on Kraft's lap, raised her paw lazily. I'm not talking about this. Kraft rolled his eyes, picked Beja up and put him on the table, and then pointed his finger at Bruce Banner who was transforming in the video. You see him changing from such a thin body shape. A strong man who is more than two meters tall will sometimes continue to grow bigger. Even so, his shorts still fit so well, obviously other clothes are broken into rags. Shocked. Quinn's mouth grew wide, and his long tongue drooped, with a stupid expression on his face, the pants must be very exciting to bite. Beja shook her long tail, then turned her head and looked at Kraft with a strange look. Why is your focus always so strange, Kraft? When did these two little guys start to like to complain about themselves? Speaking of it, Mr. Sakamoto in the dreamland seems to be a spit. By the way, how did I know the word vomit? Kraft touched his forehead, and the strange knowledge that appeared inexplicably in his mind increased again. Kraft entered his dream again. This time the dream took place in a slightly messy room, but most of the researchers were of this virtue. In contrast, the room in front of me was already tidy. The furniture in the house is mostly wooden structure. There are many gears and bolts on the table. A technically backward but well-made shotgun with beautifully carved patterns is hung on the wall. There is a bookcase next to it. Packed with books full of dang dang, on the top of the bookshelf, there is also a mechanical doll that is constantly dancing. From the overall style, this dream seems to be in a period similar to that of the Earth in the 16th and 7th centuries, but the strange floating chandelier above the head and the protagonist of the dream who are busy near the workbench prove that things are not that simple. Magic technology? Steampunk? 2077. Some inexplicable words popped out of Kraft's mind. Without delving into the meaning of those words, Kraft sighed deeply. The sense of age displayed in the scene and the vaguely revealed fantasy worldview made him not have much hope for this dream. But he still walked to the protagonist of the dream, 
anyway, it is good to be able to broaden his horizons. The protagonist of the dream is an old man with white beard and hair. He is not wearing a white coat like most researchers, but wearing a red leather armor and a pair of red goggles on the bridge of his nose. The most important thing is that. He was a lot shorter than Kraft, who was only 14 years old. However, Kraft didn't care about this. Instead, he was attracted by the drawings on the workbench. Different from the sense of age shown by the surrounding furnishings, the design drawings on the drawings are very exquisite, and the level of complexity far exceeds the level expected in this era, and although Kraft can't fully understand the drawings, he does. There is an energy core setting, which shows that this thing does not require any special ability to control, the only question is whether the materials used in it can find a substitute on the earth. Because he couldn't understand the drawings, Kraft didn't waste time on the workbench. Anyway, he could recall his dream memory at any time in the future, and he could read it again after he understood it. He walked to the bookshelf and glanced at the spine of the book. It was a pity that there seemed to be no habit of marking the title on the spine of the book, so Kraft picked one at random and pulled it out. Goblin who doesn't know how to pioneer and innovate. Kraft. Decisively shoving the book and his hand back into the bookshelf, Kraft changed another one. Dwarf engineering is the future, Kraft. Well, at least I understand that the mechanical technology here is called engineering, and there are at least two branches. Kraft looked back at the little old man who was still busy at the workbench. So he was not a human being with dwarf disease, but the race was a dwarf? The world is really big. Kraft once again sighed the magic of different worlds, and then continued to browse the books on the shelf. Research with gnomes thinking, stupid goblins who only know explosion, engineering. From beginner to earth, a hundred tips for building energy cores, characters of famous craftsmen, for gnomes who have made great contributions to engineering. After reading the names of all the books on the shelf, Kraft directly picked up, engineering, from beginner to earth, and read it. The thing that the protagonist of the dream is making seems to be more difficult. Anyway, Kraft gave a thick copy of engineering, from beginner to the earth, to read, and the dream is not over yet. After reading the books in his hand, Kraft had gained more than he expected. Engineering is really a science side technology that does not require any special ability to drive, and in the early and midterm design, most of the materials needed can be found on the earth. Even if there is no one on the earth, a close substitute can be found. Product, and will not affect its function. The only thing he regrets is that many engineering creations need to use some magic materials in the later stage, and the role of these magic materials is generally to build the core. He has no choice but to watch this stuff. See if we can replace it with the core of pure technology. Although Kraft looks like he is going to the laboratory to study it, but the production of the dwarf is not over yet, he can't wake up on his own, and he simply picks up the book he pulled out for the first time. Goblin who doesn't know how to pioneer and innovate, flipped through it. Although the title of this book is full of prejudice, it should be enough to let you know what the goblin branch is different from dwarf engineering. Unlike the dwarf engineering that invented all kinds of weird props, the goblin engineering is more practical and closer to the industrial system on the earth. Their main direction is to manufacture various gunpowder weapons and matching goggles, but it is more practical than the Earth's industrial system. Compared with the weapons made by the goblins, the weapons made by the goblins have no advantages, that is, the addition of magic materials makes them more special, but the goggles are a bit interesting, making craft a lot of inspiration by analogy. Closing the book, the goblin who doesn't know pioneering and innovating, craft is somewhat thankful that he dreamed of dwarf engineering, because even if the prejudices in the book are removed, Goblin engineering is not very helpful to him. On the contrary, there are many magical props in dwarf engineering that interest him. Turning his head and glanced at the still busy dwarf, his production is more than half completed, and he looks like a robot. Kraft scratched his head. The drawings I saw before are obviously the shape of a car? However, this is also in line with the character of dwarf engineers who think one thing is one thing. Although he was a little curious about how he built a robot based on the car's drawings, Kraft simply looked through engineering-related books. It was obviously more difficult to understand the dwarf's show operation, so he turned back again, intending to continue reading. Let's pick a thinner book this time. Kraft's fingers are moving across the bookshelf. The robot is obviously about to be built. Obviously there is not enough time to continue studying, so he plans to find another type of book to relax his head. In the end, Kraft chose a book of characters of famous craftsmen, and while relaxing, he could also learn about the specific conditions of the world by the way. Then flipping through, Kraft found. I seem to have dreamed of this world? Because of the names and major events in this book, Kraft had been in contact with an orc blacksmith, but there were too few books in the orcs family. The orcs of Rage Steel heard it when they were talking to other people. I thought about the visitors of different races to the orc blacksmith, as well as the Proxima Midnight Elves, Dwarf, Five-Color Dragon and other races mentioned in this book, 
as well as villains such as the Burning Legion Lich King, Kraft scratched his head subconsciously. The composition of this world is really complicated. Because in the dream, Kraft can automatically learn the language mastered by the owner of the dream, so in addition to the common language, orc language, and troll language learned in Saru Ainge, Kraft learned here again. Gnomish, dwarf, and some elvish and human languages. Useless knowledge has increased. Elvish language in particular, this should be the most frequent race that has appeared in dreams other than humans, and the elvish languages of different worlds are also different. Kraft now has more than a handful of elvish languages. Judging from the world view shown in the book, engineering seems to be just a not too important branch in this world. The main theme is magic and long swords. This also explains why this world has such a strange technology tree. In addition, judging from the introduction in this book, the owner of this dream does not seem to be an infamous guy, the master craftsman Oviosbach, a figure in the dwarf engineering system, and even created the Ironforge Squirrel, the big runaway incident. After reading the character history, Ovasbach's manufacturing is nearing the end. Generally speaking, the content of the dream is to complete the manufacturing, test, pass the test or fail the test, and then it will end, occasionally it will be extended for a while, but it will appear. The odds are relatively small. Kraft got to the side of Oversbark. The dwarf master craftsman made a robot with a weird shape. It was much taller than Oversbark himself. The top of the robot had no head and replaced it. It is a seat and console. Gosh. I'm so tall. Oversbach climbed onto the robot and happily roared with a shrill voice. Only then did Kraft understand that the strange shape of this robot was actually imitating Oversbark's own clothes. Okay, just be happy. Kraft looked at this rather stream of consciousness shape and twitched his mouth. As Oversbark pushed the upper lever on the console, the Oversbark robot made a whispering sound, and thick black smoke came out of the exhaust pipe behind it. Go ahead. My baby. The Oversbark robot raised its foot tremblingly and started walking around the house. Yeah, roar, roar. Now, enter the combat mode. Oversbark excitedly pressed several times on the console, a mess of weapons emerged from various parts of the Oversbark robot's body, and then. All its joints began to sparkle with sparks, eh? Oversbach's smile froze suddenly. Kraft was also surprised. This plot. I've seen it at Dr. Ari's, boom. The Oversbark robot exploded unexpectedly, and Kraft woke up as a result. Since dreaming of the master craftsman Ovio's back, Kraft began to study the dwarf engineering from his dreams. I will not mention the things that require magical materials in the following, just the mechanical squirrel for getting started. Make Kraft delighted. Bolts, copper ingots, malachite. These simple materials have turned into a mechanical squirrel that can follow itself and run flexibly under that magical engineering, without the need for additional energy. This is simply to force the law of conservation of energy to rub on the ground. It's just that my dreams have always been unscientific, and this situation can't make Kraft much happy. The key is that this mechanical squirrel can be copied. Although the mechanical squirrel made by Alice will be governed by the law of conservation of energy again, and will not actively follow the owner, it is not difficult to install a battery box or a clockwork or other power source. The little squirrel is still the same agility, as long as you design a voice control or light sensing system for it, it is not difficult to sell it as a high level toy. Although he can't increase his combat power, he can increase his income, so Kraft has more money to research other inventions. After all, scientific research is still very money consuming, and having one more way to make a fortune will naturally lead to Kraft as happy, not to mention that there will be several mechanical pets with different shapes afterwards. When Kraft has mastered the technology inside, he can design more shapes by himself. I don't know if it's the evolution of dreams, or whether Kraft's recent luck is really good. When he started to study engineering, he dreamed of engineering related in the world called Azeroth several times. Characters, some of them are not master craftsmen, but ordinary craftsmen apprentices. But Kraft was more satisfied with this, because these apprentices took him to understand the basics of engineering in detail, which speeded up his entire learning progress. In addition, Kraft also dreamed of dreaming characters who took the goblin engineering route. Without the biased rhythm of the gnomes, Kraft also had a more comprehensive understanding of goblin engineering, except for the relatively backward weapon technology. There are many things in goblin engineering that are worth learning for Kraft. Like that goblin pacemaker. Originally, Kraft thought that the help that engineering brought him, besides those high-level props that I didn't know if he could make it, was probably the mass production of those small mechanical pets to help him raise funds, but he soon I discovered that the real power of this dream is not a high-level engineering creation, but the magical basic setting that can twist copper ingots into bronze tubes with bare hands. The specific principle of craft is unknown, but when he saw in his dream a dwarf craftsman apprentice twisting a copper ingot into a bronze tube by hand, he was able to replicate this method in the real world, and not only bronze pipes, but other metals are also available.
There are also strong gunpowder made from the stone, and the gemstones are polished into lenses without any tools, etc. With such an unscientific method, Kraft had mastered it after a few dreams. This TM is also considered science. Putting the steel pipe that had just been rolled out in his hand aside, Kraft looked at his still white hands and suddenly became suspicious of the definition of the word science. Big brother Niubi, Quinn, who watched Kraft's operation all the way, cried out. Teach me. Big brother teach me. Erguzi approached Kraft with a silly face and kept harassing him. Don't think about it, your dog's paw can't learn it. Kraft recovered and pushed Quinn's stupid face away. Quinn lowered his head in silence, looked at his dog's paws, and then moved his head back, the tail on his butt swaying frantically. Then eldest brother, give me a human hand. Yes. Kraft rolled his eyes, then smiled sullenly at Quinn, but you have to chop off your dog's paw before that. Rua. Quinn jumped back abruptly and swiftly got under the table with his tail tucked in. It's okay to chop the claws. I don't want it, I don't want it. Stupid dog. Beja, who was lying on the computer case to keep warm, yawned and cursed contemptuously. After mastering the core technology of hand rubbing materials, Kraft's progress in engineering began to fast forward wildly, and soon he learned to the stage where some special materials were needed. Mithril. The name Kraft is not uncommon in the dreams of other magical worlds, even on the Earth, but it only exists in various fantasy works. Kraft specifically checked the setting of Mithril on the Earth. It has the same ductility as bronze, it is as smooth as glass, hard as iron, but as light as a feather, it has the luster of silver, and it will never be dimmed. Then there are some supplementary settings, such as magic affinity. In the several fantasy worlds that Kraft dreamed of, the characteristics of Mithril in these settings were quite different. Although Kraft was a little strange, he didn't take it too seriously. There are so many strange things in his dreams, and if he has to go through the roots one by one, he can't get through this day? Except for those magical settings, Mithril's original characteristics are not complicated, hard, light, and highly ductile. Although there are no such natural minerals on the earth, it is not difficult to make similar alloys as substitutes. Not to mention that in Kraft's dream, there are some alloy formulas with more unscientific properties. After repeatedly watching the use of Mithril by the craftsman in the dream, Kraft can confirm that most engineering creations do not require the magic affinity of Mithril, or even if there is no magic affinity, it just reduces performance and does not hinder the use. Then it's easy to do. Kraft took a moment to make out all the alloys he knew and the characteristics of Mithril are close to. Then he looked at the design drawings in engineering and decided to use dwarf rocket boots. Let's test and see which alloy has the closest effect to the Mithril in the world of Azeroth. It happened that there were still a few pairs of foot strengthening shoes left, but they were still not enough. Kraft called the shoe store under Martin's name and asked them to send more than a dozen pairs. The technology of rubbing out equipment on the Azeroth continent without the aid of large equipment, just relying on hammers, wrenches and hands is too imba, a dozen pairs of dwarf rocket boots, Kraft only took less than two days kung fu is all rubbed out. But. Dot the testers have to think about it. Kraft looked at the row of rocket boots in front of him, lost in thought. This thing is not only in the dwarf engineering, but also in the goblin branch, there is a similar design, and both branches are rare and reminded at the same time. The dwarf side is more subtle. What they warn is that the energy system and the transmission system are not always functioning normally. The goblins are very straightforward. They are likely to explode suddenly, so please use them carefully. Now it's not in a dream. It's just waking up from a dream. If it's blown up, Kraft, a mortal man, can't live with a wheelchair in the future, even though there is something wrong in the dream. Less prosthetic technology. But whoever has the original TM will use the pirated version. Even if the pirated version is more powerful than the original one, the original one is more satisfying to use. Even Quinn's stupid dog can handle this kind of thing, and Kraft naturally can't kill him. So after thinking about it again and again, Kraft found Alice. Huh. Huh? Hearing Kraft's cold-blooded request, Alice cried on the spot. No brother. I'm scared. Alice clasped Kraft's thigh tightly, and refused to let go. You are a robot afraid of a dur. Kraft kicked the thigh he was holding, but couldn't get rid of it, so he could only patiently reason with Alice. As long as you turn off the pain system, even if it explodes, it won't hurt. If it explodes, I will replace it with new parts, won't it be solved? But what should I do if I blow my mind? Alice still looked teary. The power of these shoes is not that powerful. Seeing Alice's pitiful expression, Kraft was also a little softened. He stroked Alice's head and comforted softly, and I can back up your memory to the computer, even if you accidentally injure the chip inside, you can recover the memory again. But. Dot but. Is it really me that Alice who has recovered like that? Kraft was stunned. 
Although he occasionally had the illusion that Alice was an ordinary human, and he had some feelings for her, he still didn't treat her as a living body from the point of view and reason. Even if she usually behaves like a person, in Kraft's cognition, this is closer to the behavioral logic caused by the program, rather than really having self-consciousness or soul. Since you don't like it, forget it. Kraft pursed his lips and helped Alice up from the ground. Brother, are you angry? Actually, I'm just a little scared. Just get over it. Alice said, reaching for the rocket boots on the table, and then Kraft slapped it off. I'm not angry. I just didn't want to understand something. If I experiment, it will be a big deal for me to rebuild a remote control robot. It will take a little longer. Kraft rubbed his stomach and changed the subject. I'm a little hungry, can you make me a snack? I will handle it. Hearing that she didn't need to play on the field by herself, Alice instantly became happy, rolled up her sleeves and smiled brightly, and then walked to the kitchen next to the studio. Good job, Kraft. Beja jumped into Kraft's arms from the case on the side, rubbed his head against his chest, and applauded. Quinn tilted his head. Kraft scratched Beja's chin without speaking. He has seen many sci-fi works related to robots, novels, TVs, movies, and games. Discussions about robots have never stopped, and one of them is considered popular. When a robot has self-recognition, can it be regarded as a life? For this point of view, Kraft used to have fun, but now. There is really a younger sister now. Kraft scratched his head and sighed helplessly, but a faint smile appeared on his face. After eating the snacks made by Alice, Kraft was not in a hurry to make a remote-controlled robot, because although it can ensure safety, it does not have a direct sense of experience. Simple data cannot see everything, not to mention these engineering creations. He does not necessarily follow the physical rules of the earth, so he wants to find a way to get the best of both worlds. Put yourself in an iron shell or something. Kraft thought of exoskeleton armor, but quickly denied it. The exoskeleton would block its own touch, which is not much better than remote-controlled robots. Wait. The touch? Kraft suddenly thought of the pain system on Alice. Although it was only feedback simulated by the program, it was obvious that this feedback was very real, just like ordinary people. So. As long as you make another robot of the same model as Alice, and then replace its thinking core with a manual control device, and project the tactile feedback on its body to the computer to convert it into data, it should be enough for Kraft to test. Kraft, who was sitting cross-legged on the ground, jumped up, rushed to the workbench and started to operate. It is a pity that the hand-rubbing skills of engineering cannot be used in the manufacture of other things, otherwise Kraft can save a lot of money, but even so, Kraft also saves a lot of money when making some accessories. Time. In order to prevent the test robot from being easily damaged, Kraft also spent a lot of money and used good materials. The special alloy learned from Dream's Luna Titanium Castration Edition. Because some of the rare metals are not found on the Earth, the data in the Dream shows that it is a special product on a small planet in the small planet belt between Mars and Jupiter, not to mention whether there is such a small planet in the real world. Even if it does, Kraft currently has no conditions to build a spacecraft, and even if it is built, there is no specific star map. So in the end, he still used the existing metals on the Earth to replace it. Although the strength of the Luna Titanium alloy was reduced a lot, there was no problem in slinging other alloys. Definitely, if the shield of Captain America in the comics is also true, it is not necessarily true. There was a flash of inspiration in Kraft's mind, and Harrow who rushed to the side instructed, search for the information about Captain America's shield, and then make a backup first, and then look at it after I get it done. Received, received, Harrow who was rolling around as a toy by Beja, stretched out his hands and feet, and ran to its special base, work begins, work begins. Meow, Beja, who was interrupted in the game, yelled to Kraft unhappily, but Kraft at the moment was busy doing research and didn't notice at all. Beja also knew that Kraft was in this virtue after entering the research state, so she restrained the instinct to trouble him, but the breath in her heart was always going to be released, so the little black cat turned her gaze to carrying a stupid dog with a mechanical squirrel running in a circle. Bayafu lowered her body, silently approached Quinn, who knew nothing about it and was still Sawan, and then rushed out and slapped him on the nose. Rua. When Kraft finished his work, all he saw was Quinn's crying dog face. What happened again? Kraft stretched out and looked reluctantly at Quinn, who was squatting at his feet and wagging his tail. Compared with Beja, who violated the setting of the three most stupid cats and cats in Bombay, Quinn's intelligence did not live up to his ranking outside of 79, and his usual stupid things are not too. After people have taught him, they often come to him with an innocent appearance and let Kraft give him an opportunity. Bella bullied me again. Brother, you have to call me the shots. Quinn complained loudly about the brutal behavior of the little black cat. Kraft was used to it. He glanced at Beja, who was lying on the side wagging her tail, 
and seeing her relaxed and contented look seemed very confident. You provoke her again, right? Kraft tugged at Quinn's ear and asked. I do not have. Quinn was anxious and circled in place, but there was no substantive evidence. I do not have. This is weird. Kraft scratched his head questioningly. Quinn didn't look like he was lying, but Beja looked right and confident again. Have these two little guys already learned acting? Watch the surveillance. Brother, you can watch the surveillance. It suddenly occurred to Quinn that he secretly caused trouble before, but was caught by surveillance. Um? Seeing Quinn's so swearing appearance, could it be that I wrongly blamed him? Kraft glanced at Beja again, and saw that she still looked like an old god, which was even more bewildered. So he simply asked Harrow to call up the previous monitoring screen and project it on the wall. Can't speak. After watching the surveillance, Quinn turned to look at Kraft. Kraft smiled and stroked his nose, Quinn was irritated because of himself. Reaching out and rubbing Quinn's dog head, Kraft sued. I will let Alice make big bones for you to eat at night. That's great. Quinn became happy all at once, and flicked his tail happily. Then Kraft looked helplessly at Beja who was licking her fur. When I finish the test, I will make a few toys for you, so don't toss Harlow and Quinn. The mechanical squirrels made by Kraft will follow people actively. Beja has no desire to catch them, and the mechanical squirrels made in the factory have time to use, so Beja will take Haro to have fun. I got it. Meow, Beja rolled over and replied with a wagging tail. After solving the problem of the two pets, Kraft sat down in front of the computer and started to operate the robot that was just made. Because it is only a test robot, it has a very simple appearance. It has a personal shape without fingers and toes. The hole looks like a petrol can with sticks and balls inserted in it, and a layer of touch is applied on it. The artificial skin of the feedback did not make facial features, but roughly plugged a camera on his head. Controlling the test robot to put on a pair of dwarf rocket boots, let it run in the open space of the workshop. Among other things, in terms of effect, this dwarf rocket boots are still very useful. After Harrow's monitoring, the robot's movement speed has increased by 37.6%, which is much worse than the original version in the dream, and the duration is only 16 seconds. Looking at the tactile feedback again, the legs are in good condition and they don't seem to cause any discomfort to the body. But still need to test a few more times. Refilling the dwarf rocket boots with gunpowder, Kraft began the test again. The rest of the time is basically testing the performance of these rocket boots, and I definitely promise that Beige's toy Kraft will also take the time to make it. After some testing, the alloy selected by Kraft is even better than Mithril. It is an alien spacecraft material, but the raw materials used can be found on the Earth. The original name is a string of characters. Kraft was directly renamed to Mithril Alloy. In addition, in repeated tests of these alloys, although the dwarf rocket boots failed and went on strike, they did not explode once. Kraft recalled the engineering books in his dream. It turns out that everything written in the stupid goblins who only know explosion is true. With the experience of successfully finding the mithril alloy, Kraft also tried repeatedly to find a substitute for the later thorium true silver. Even if it did not surpass the original version like mithril alloy, it would have affected the use of those props, until the magical materials that followed became more and more important, and Kraft's progress in engineering finally came to a standstill. But even so, Kraft is very satisfied. Engineering is a complete technological system that he rarely dreamed of. Hum. It should be regarded as technology. By the way, how did you find Captain America's shield? After finishing his engineering research, Kraft flipped through the memo on the computer, and then asked Harrow. In a deadlock, deadlocked. While talking, Harrow called up the relevant information it had collected on the internet. Because of America's official publicity, the content about Captain America is very complicated, and it is very difficult to extract effective information from it. Among the densely packed documents collected by Harrow, more than 70% of the documents are marked. The label, doubtful. It took Kraft a lot of time to sort out these contents, but unfortunately, as Harrow reported, the intelligence collection was at a deadlock. Because there is a mysterious force that has sealed up all the truly valuable information, if it hadn't been for two other mysterious forces that had attacked the database of the first force, Harrow couldn't even find this clue. Among these three forces, Kraft knows their identity. A group of hackers gathered together to establish an organization rising tide. When Kraft asked Harrow to sweep in the online world, they once sent a letter the encrypted email was sent to Harrow, and the general content was to absorb him into the Rising Tide organization, but Kraft decisively rejected it. In addition to soliciting solicitation, the content of the email was also written in a big book about the purpose of their organization, what to break the official information blockade, let the public know the truth, etc. Kraft wanted to laugh when he saw it. Your America people are in dire straits, and it's a matter of labor and management. However, thanks to their blessings, 
Kraft collected some useful information Captain America's shield was made by Tony Stark's father Howard Stark, and the material used was a metal called vibranium. Gathering information on vibranium was handed over to Harrow as a standing task, and Kraft began to prepare to resolve another matter on the memo. Give Alice a stronger body. When making asterisk 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 Lisi, Kraft was not sure of success, so the materials used were only ordinary alloys. Afterwards, he experienced the attack of the Magia gang, but he felt that even ordinary alloys were enough. In addition, Kraft thought that if Alice was accidentally damaged, he would make a new one, and naturally he did not replace her with better materials. Now his perception of Alice is completely different, coupled with the existence of the Hulk, which is also unscientific and uncontrolled, definitely puts on the agenda for the strengthening of Alice's body. Brother, are you looking for me? Because Kraft has been researching engineering-related content recently, explosions, explosions, and explosions are naturally indispensable, so Alice and two pets are moved back to the house. After receiving a call from Kraft today, Alice brought Quinn and Beja from home. Well, Kraft beckoned to Alice, then pointed to the workbench, come here and lie down. What, what's wrong? Alice looked at the cold tools on the workbench with some fear, and asked cautiously. You saw the green monster on TV before. In case you run into him, it is not suspenseful to be photographed as a pile of scrap iron. Krafta lay down on the workbench with Alice. Originally, I thought that even if you are damaged and have a computer backup, you can be resurrected at any time, but you mentioned before, afraid that you will not be yourself after the resurrection. Kraft untied Alice's clothes, skillfully removed her body to pieces, then hung her head aside, and continued to explain in his mouth, so I just wanted to take your body the material has been replaced with a stronger alloy so that even if you encounter an accident, it will not be easily damaged. It turned out to be like this, it scared me to death, I thought you didn't want me, brother. Alice, whose head was hung in the air, looked at Kraft with tears in her eyes, before, she watched herself being disassembled into a pile of parts, and almost fainted without being frightened. What stupid thing to say. Kraft knocked on Alice's head, you are my sister. Hey hey. Alice smirked, trying to raise her hand to touch the back of her head, and then she was punched between Kraft's legs by the arm placed on the workbench. Kraft clutched his vitals and fell to his knees, so painful that he couldn't even shout. Ah 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 ah. I'm sorry, brother. Alice danced in a panic, and decisively flung her right foot away and smashed it into Quinn's face. Rua. Ah 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 ah. Sorry Quinn. Alice became more flustered. Don't move me out. It was the little black cat Bea who relied on his dexterity to rush to Alice's head and slap her on the forehead to calm down the stupid robot. It hurts, it hurts. Kraft lay on the ground and rested for a while, then stood up tremblingly with the help of the workbench. Sorry. Alice apologized repeatedly in tears. Don't mess with me. Kraft glared at the idiot and rested for a while before starting to change Alice's body again. The critical attack still affected Kraft's operation more or less. It took him a lot longer than expected to replace Alice's body with a high level material mainly made of Luna titanium. Even the outermost layer of artificial skin, Kraft replaced it with a stronger, fire and acid resistant material. After changing the artificial skin to Alice, Kraft threw her clothes over, then rubbed his still aching vitals and grinned. Hurry up and put my clothes on and cook for me. I'm almost starving to death. Alice sat up from the workbench with her body naked and nodded repeatedly with a grin. Kraft. I'm here. At this moment, Fatty Liao rushed in with his beloved handheld camera. Because tomorrow is the weekend, Kraft made an appointment with Fatty Liao today and asked him to come over to stay overnight and use the weekend to shoot new material for Chow Show Channel. Previously, Kraft calculated that at his own pace, he could change Alice's body before 5 o'clock and then have dinner or something, so they agreed that the time was 7 o'clock in the evening. But who would have thought that there would be such an accident? Kraft. You still said that you are not an LSP. Fatty Lao's fat hands pointing to Kraft were shaking. Ah. Alice screamed and covered her body with her clothes, and then shrank behind Kraft. No. David. Let me explain. Kraft caught Fatty Liao who wanted to quit the studio with a cold sweat on his forehead. If he were to leave like this, it would really be impossible to tell. What else can you explain in this situation? Facing Kraft's sophistry, Fatty Liao looked sad and indignant. I always thought that you just haven't gotten your head, and I didn't expect you to be this kind of XP. This is so enviable. Dot ba. It's so embarrassing. It's not like that. Kraft wanted to explain with a black line, but Quinn's stupid dog suddenly spoke up. Surprised. The bad thing the eldest brother did was discovered. What nonsense. You stupid dog. Beja couldn't help giving this idiot a claw adding to the chaos. Look. Even your dog says you are doing bad things. 
Fatty Liao pointed at Quinn who had just spoken, and then he was stunned. Does your dog speak? There are also cats. After learning, Fatty Liao jumped up, staring at a cat and a dog next to him with wide-eyed eyes. Oh, oops, I was found out. I blame you stupid dog. Beja gave Quinn another claw and complained. Ah. My head hurts. Kraft pressed his forehead, feeling a pain in his head. In short, the scene was chaotic. After a period of turmoil, Kraft finally explained the cause and effect to Fat Liao. At this moment, Alice also hid and put on her clothes. She wiped her tears and came to Kraft's side, sobbing and saying, Then brother, I'm going to prepare dinner for you. Well, just get a little bit of it, don't worry. This fat man's eyes are not very good, and I will help you block it in time. Kraft smiled bitterly and rubbed her head, softly comforting. Ah. Alice nodded with choking, then walked away quickly, heading towards the kitchen. Seeing the interaction between the two, Fat Lao's eyes staring at Kraft became menacing. Only you are enjoying the robot maid, it's really too cunning. The fat man still didn't give up his plan to rub a robot maid from Kraft. Alice is not a maid, she is my sister. Kraft emphasized to Fat Liao with a very serious expression. Seeing Kraft's serious expression, Fatty Liao was stunned, are you serious? He knows Kraft very well. It is very difficult for him to recognize an ordinary person, let alone a robot. Although Fatty Liao has been putting Krafta into the LSP camp when he is joking, he has to really said that Kraft would be tempted by a robot made by himself, then he was the first to not believe it. Kraft sighed and said briefly what had happened before. In any case, I made Alice, so naturally I have to take care of her. Brother in name, but father in fact? Fat Lao's brain circuit is also abnormal, otherwise he wouldn't be able to play with Kraft. But he quickly became excited again. Doesn't that mean Kraft you created a life? This is the realm of the gods. Artificial intelligence, who knows? Kraft shrugged indifferently. The gods were not gods, and he was not interested, because he was an atheist, even though he had seen some existences with the mighty power of gods in his dreams. You are too calm, right? Fatty Liao smacked his lips, he was a little accustomed to Kraft's light-hearted cups. It's a pity that you are not willing to make these magical inventions into videos, otherwise the Chaosho channel will be even more popular. Kraft rolled his eyes. Do you want me to be found by the FBI? Yes, if you let the old and beautiful government know about this, you are afraid that you will not be locked up and squeezed by them. To be a good friend of Kraft, Fatty Liao would naturally not have a good impression of America, but he is not as extreme as Kraft. But this time you take some useful things too. Fatty Liao said, what kind of solar flashlight, shoe-shaped razor, interesting and interesting, but not many people buy it. You have a dream. The toy company makes money for you, but I am pointing to the Chaosho channel to live. Doesn't the Chaosho channel still have advertising revenue? Kraft frowned. Your share should be handsome enough? Treasure was discovered by Uncle Liao again? The average cost of a junior high school student is not high. Fatty Liao, as the person who runs the Chaosho channel on a daily basis, does not earn a high share, but it is definitely enough. In fact, Kraft originally wanted to give all the income from the Chaosho channel to Fatty Liao, but he refused. In his words, this is the bottom line of profiteers. Isn't this? Isn't it that I have another girlfriend, so the expense has been a bit big recently? Fatty Liao replied twitchingly. Kraft rolled his eyes wildly. We can't do anything at our age. What's the point of talking about girlfriends? Kraft, who is pursuing practicality and efficiency, really can't understand Fatty Liao's hobby in this regard. You scientific madman can't understand great love. Fatty Liao said with arrogant contempt. Does your so-called love mean being dumped by a girl six times in a year? Five times. Only five times. The sixth time was dumped on New Year's Day. It's already the second year. Kraft repeated it in an unwavering tone. Oh. It turned out to be five times. Dot JPG. Let's start shooting. Fatty Liao, who was in an awkward position, clapped his hands and forcibly changed the subject. Don't worry, I want to eat first. As far as Fatty Lao's friend's request is not excessive, Kraft will generally agree to it. Therefore, he took advantage of the weekend to film the production process of a few more interesting and practical props, and did a few more. As a stock, as for how to edit and sell it, that's Fatty Lao's job. Because these gadgets are not highly technical, Kraft is also very relaxed when making them, and he can be regarded as relaxing a little through the two days of shooting. Let's go to the music festival next weekend, you guy needs to relax. After the filming, Fatty Liao put away the camera and patted Kraft on the shoulder to persuade him. Well, I know. Kraft squeezed the bridge of his nose. Even if Fatty Liao didn't say anything, he planned to take a break. Recently, after soaking in the laboratory for too long, Kraft's spirit has been a little sluggish. 
After persisting for so long, now relax, the constant exhaustion made him sleep until noon for the past two days. Suddenly I understood a little bit why those scientists conducted experiments on human body strengthening. Kraft smacked his lips, but still had no intention of getting involved. Music festival. Can brother bring me? After two days of buffering, Alice was finally able to speak normally in front of Fat Liao, but she was still embarrassed to look at him, and she kept her head down and stared at the ground even during the conversation. As a result, this even poked Fatty Lao's cuteness even more, which led to his eyes full of envy, jealousy and hatred when he looked at Kraft for the past two days. So before Kraft could speak, he jumped up and patted his chest and agreed. Definitely, there is no problem. The ticket is covered by me. Then can I go? Take me there too. Quinn, the stupid dog, also ran over to join in the fun. Uh. This is. Fatty Liao said with a distressed expression, pets are generally not allowed in music festivals. FXXK. This is racial discrimination. For the next week, Kraft never entered the laboratory, and his dream was not knowing whether his skills were cooling down or he wanted him to rest. After giving him the content of engineering, he fell silent. A week passed quickly, and it was the weekend in a blink of an eye. Brother. Hurry up. Alice had finished preparations early, and hurriedly urged Kraft at the dining table, who was still eating breakfast. What's the hurry, isn't it still early? Stuffing the last dumpling into his mouth, Kraft began to slowly organize the tableware again. I checked on the internet. Before the festival opens, there are many interesting activities. Some netizens even said that those are the main body of the festival. Anxious, Alice quickly picked up the dining table, then lifted her foot and pushed Kraft's thigh with the sole of her foot. Brother, you are going to change clothes, leave it to me. Good, good. In fact, Kraft is not very interested in music originally, simply because there can be a group of people to cheer roar out loudly. It is a good way to relieve stress. Go once in a while, that is, to cheer roar and then leave. There are people, so he is not very clear about the specific process of the music festival, but Fatty Liao likes to participate early. After returning to the room to change his clothes, Kraft thought for a while, put a backpack on his back, and put a few self defense equipment in it. After all, a green monster like Hulk has appeared. Who knows when it will happen again? Jump out a red or yellow one, just in case it's always good. At this time, Alice had also finished packing, and began to urge again, Brother, you hurry up. I'm coming. Kraft carried his backpack down the stairs and took out his cell phone to contact Fatty Liao. David, we are out. Where are you now? Huh? Why did you come so early this time? Fatty Liao who understands Kraft's habits at the moment is in the car heading to the music festival. He just knows that Kraft won't pass so early, so he didn't wait for him. Because Alice is very interested in music festivals. Kraft's tone was full of helplessness. And Fatty Liao was even more upset. Damn it. I actually ignored the existence of Sister Alice. Well, since I got a little familiar with Alice last weekend, this fat man started to call Alice as his sister with a shy face. I'm already on the road, Fatty Liao replied in the same helpless tone. You go straight ahead, and we will gather at the entrance of the venue when that happens. Okay. Kraft checked the weather and pulled out two solar skateboards from his prop box. Anyway. The distance is not far, so it's better to go on a skateboard, as long as you control the speed well, don't go too far. The mass-produced solar skateboard has been sold by Kraft's Dreamland Toys Company for a long time, and it has been really popular for a while, and based on this, various shapes of solar balance cars, solar wheelchairs and the like have been developed. Derivative products. However, this kind of automatic skateboard has not been favored by those professional skateboarders. On the contrary, many people are resisting this kind of automatic skateboard. Therefore, the user group of Kraft is mostly those who don't know how to skateboard. Definitely these have nothing to do with Kraft, anyway, he is not a skater, and he makes money. Let's go. Passed a piece of the skateboard in her hand to Alice, but she was a little at a loss. I, I can't skateboard. This thing doesn't require you to be able to skate. Kraft rolled his eyes. With your body's balance system, controlling this skateboard is not a problem. Although it's not clear why you, who have a balance system, fell on the ground. Kraft silently added a sentence to his heart. Oh, Alice took the skateboard blankly, then stepped on it cautiously. Ah ha 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 ha. Brother, this skateboard is so fun. Alice stepped on the skateboard, opened her hands to feel the strong wind blowing in her face, and exclaimed to Kraft excitedly. Yes. Dot can you not be so embarrassed? This is our own product anyway, don't make it like a countryman who has never seen the world. Kraft, who was holding his forehead, was very tired. The two drove all the way on skateboards and soon reached the entrance of the venue where the music festival was held. On the way, 
Kraft also saw many people walking on the streets with solar skateboards or other similar products like them. To be honest, Kraft still had a little pride in his heart. Kraft. Here, Fatty Liao, who arrived first, saw the two of them, and yelled roar to run over. Damn it! I knew I would skateboard with you. As a good thing like solar skateboarding, Kraft naturally prepared one for Fatty Liao's friend, it's just because of his figure that he rarely skates, so it's hard to think of using skateboarding as a means of transportation, Kraft. The skateboard he gave him, he used it once when he went back that day, and it has been thrown at home since then. Let's go, I will also see what activities are there before the festival opens. With the skateboard under his arm, Kraft took the ticket from Fatty Liao and walked into the venue with his foot up. The early activities of the festival are really lively, such as acrobatics, game competitions, and model catwalks. Kraft knew why Fatty Liao liked to arrive early. Thinking of this, Kraft turned his head. Sure enough, at this time Fatty Liao had already taken out his beloved handheld camera and started shooting. The pre-event lasted for nearly two hours. Fatty Liao's camera memory card was almost full, and if Kraft hadn't modified his camera and installed a solar battery life function, it would have been long ago. The battery is exhausted. It's really a bumper harvest. Fatty Liao licked his chapped and peeling lips and put the camera away. He just took a shot, but he didn't drink a sip of water. The state was no different from the state when Kraft entered the laboratory. Kraft glanced at him with contempt and admiration, and then passed the mineral water bottle in his hand. With the end of the opening event, a group of hawkers did not know where they came from and began to be active everywhere, selling all kinds of food and drinks. After slaughtering the audience severely and letting them replenish nutrition and moisture, the music festival finally officially began. The opening show was a rock and roll. Although the group of band members dressed as monsters and ghosts on the stage didn't know Kraft, but from the reaction of the audience, it should be a more famous band. Anyway, Kraft is also joined in the excitement and follow everyone together and howl the whole song. Hardy. Then he yelled a few more songs, until Kraft felt a little exhausted, and stopped the meaningless howling ghosts. Usually by this time, Kraft just withdrew, but when he saw that Alice was still calling for the singer on stage, he was not disappointed, just stayed quietly and listened to the song and from time to time took out some snacks from the bag and stuffed it into his mouth. Then, I stayed until the evening. When the weather turned dark and the colorful lights were on all around, the atmosphere of the scene not only did not decrease due to the fatigue of the crowd, but became even more heated. My previous ticket was really wasted. Seeing this scene more lively than during the day, Kraft smacked his lips and muttered to himself. The fiery atmosphere continued to rise. During the period, except for one time when Alice was too excited, she threw her arm off and scared the young lady next to him to death, there was no more moths, the young lady also Kraft used, this is a very expensive high-level prosthesis, to prevaricate the past. When the time was approaching 10 o'clock, when both Kraft and Alice started to yawn, the three were ready to leave. However, at this moment, there was a burst of rapid gunfire on the distant building. Da 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 da. In the beginning, the sound of the gunfire, which seemed extremely weak compared to the scene, did not attract people's attention. Until someone in the crowd fell to the ground after being shot, the surrounding people screamed and warned, and the entire venue suddenly fell into chaos. The audience in the venue fled frantically, or searched for shelters that could be covered. The chaotic crowd caused more casualties due to trampling than those who were directly shot by guns. Kraft and Fat Liao were not injured. They were not exposed to the muzzle because of their small size, and the presence of the robot Alice, the chaotic crowd did not cause them any harm. FXXK when has the place outside the Hell's Kitchen become so dangerous? The three of Kraft crawled and shrank to the back of a flowerbed. The gunshots continued outside. Basically all those who could escape escaped. Most of them are still on the scene because they are too far forward. Law squeezed out. Sometimes it's not economical to get too far ahead. After being temporarily safe, Kraft was still thinking about joking. Hey. Kraft. Do you have any invention that can solve the current situation? Fatty Liao asked trying to hide his fat body behind the flower bed. Damn it. After I go back this time, I must start losing weight. Do you need me to sponsor your weight loss kit? At this time, Kraft had already contacted Hera with a Bluetooth headset. From the information it responded, it was known that only one shot was fired. It was an old white man living in a nearby hotel. Based on Kraft's current location, unless it's bad luck, it's basically impossible to be hit, so at this time he has leisurely sentiment to talk with Fatty Liao. Is he shooting because he was so quarreled that he couldn't sleep? After explaining the situation to Fat Liao, he finally breathed a sigh of relief, and then vomited angrily. The music festival has been publicized for so long, he should have known it already. Why should he live nearby? Kraft rolled his eyes. 
The nearby hotel was originally used by people attending the music festival. That old man obviously has been planning for a long time, right? He shot his gun because of the neighborhood problem. Dot you really dare to think. That. Brother? At this moment, Alice's weak voice sounded from the side. What's wrong? Can't you help them? Alice pointed to the wounded man who fell on the ground in the distance and wailed, her expression unbearable. There is a solution. Dot but the movement is too loud. Kraft frowned. I don't want to be called by the FBI. Based on Kraft's perception of other races of skin color, it is impossible for him to expose himself because of the lives of these people. But, they look so pitiful. Facing Alice's pitiful little face, Kraft's head suddenly grew big. In fact, even if Kraft strongly refused Alice's request, she would not say much, but now Kraft really treats her as a daughter, crossed out, and sister, it is naturally impossible to ignore it. Her wish. I'll think of a solution first. Kraft reluctantly reassures Alice, and then thinks about what props he has that can quietly solve the current situation. If only to solve the gunner, Kraft's methods are too many, even if Alice is forced to face, it can be easily solved. But to hide this problem from others, Kraft has only thought of one way, and that is the engineering artifact he put in his bag the dwarf brainwashing hat. This was originally prepared by him for Hulk, who didn't know where he was now, because that guy looked like he had little intelligence, and the brainwashing hat that could control the thinking of others should be able to kill him. However, there is another problem now. The range of the dwarf brainwashing cap is not that large, and Kraft's current position is too far away to control the gunman. You come over and block my sight. Kraft thought about the equipment in his bag and body, quickly determined the battle plan, and beckoned to Fatty Liao and Alice. I don't need to worry about the camera or anything. Harrow has already controlled everything, except that there are other people on the left side. Although they are all lying on the ground and not looking here, the sky is very dim and it is difficult to see but Kraft is still used to acting steadily. Fatty Liao and Alice obeyed Kraft's command and moved to his left side to block his body sturdily. Thanks to Kraft's size being the smallest of the three, it's blocked. It's not difficult to get up. Then the two watched Kraft take out a funny hat from his backpack and put it on his head. The hat as a whole looked like an iron pot, and then a black and white spiral circle was inserted on it. When Kraft put this strange hat on his head, the disc began to rotate slowly. After staring at the disc with a strange expression, Fatty Liao felt a little dizzy. What the hell are you? He rubbed the eyes that were beginning to double shadow, and leaned his gaze downwards and muttered. However, Kraft didn't have the time to explain to him. He took out a stopwatch-shaped metal device from his bag, broke the protective case on the outside, and pressed the button inside. Then Fatty Liao watched Kraft disappear in front of him. Before he could start roar, he felt a gust of wind roar roar in front of him. The cold air mixed with a little mud and sand flew into Fat Liao because of surprise. Open mouth. Ba, ba. Fatty Liao quickly vomited the sand out of his mouth, but for a moment he forgot to scream. Kraft didn't know that he was almost cheated by Fatty Liao's pig teammate. When he turned on the dwarf invisibility device, he also turned on the dwarf rocket boots under his feet, because the invisibility device lasted less than 20 seconds, so he must hurry up. Because there was not enough time to choose a detour, Kraft worried that he was accidentally hit by a stray bullet and activated the dwarf protective belt around his waist. I love dwarf technology to death. The concealed craft put on the position created by the dwarf protective belt, quickly traversed the venue, rushed to the bottom of the hotel, and found a hidden place to hide before the effect of the invisible device disappeared. Up. At this time, there was also chaos in the hotel. From time to time, there were several shouts of cursing and crying, and the most dangerous gunshots did not stop. Fortunately, the floor where the gunman is located is not high and the location of Kraft at the moment has included him in the control range of the dwarf brainwashing cap. Kraft raised his head and focused his sight on the murderer who showed half of his head from the window, and then turned on the switch on the brainwashing cap. As the black and white disc on the forehead began to rotate rapidly, Kraft's consciousness it was like being pulled out of the body by a whirlpool, and then fired as a cannonball at the gunman at the window. Um, is that what it feels like to control humans? When Kraft came back to his senses, the scene in front of him had switched to the gunner's perspective, which was not much different from when he used animals for testing before, but the difference is that when he controls humans, he has a sense of rejection. Much larger than when controlling animals. Because the control time of the dwarf brainwashing cap was only 10 seconds, Kraft didn't have too much time to delay. He directly picked up the gun in his hand and pointed it at himself. Da da da. The moment Kraft pressed the trigger, his consciousness returned to his body, and Kraft touched his chin. Although he was in control of others, he had no other senses except sight and hearing but shooting at yourself is always not a comfortable feeling. After solving the murderer, Kraft opened the back cover of the invisibility device, replaced the jadeite as energy source with a new one, 
then picked up the stone at his feet, rubbed out a handful of gunpowder from the inside and poured it into his shoes. Before the others reacted, they used the same method and slipped back to Alice and Fatty Liao. Since there is no robot made, this invisibility device is also possible. As soon as he got back, what Kraft saw was Fat Lao's fat face with LSP written on it. F asterisk K off. Several days have passed since the shooting at the music festival, and what Kraft did was not discovered by others. After the heat of the shooting passed, his life returned to peace again. Except for Fat Liao, that LSP also came to pester him from time to time for the dwarf invisibility device. However, after he learned that the invisibility device lasted only 10 seconds, he gave up with a frustrated expression. Soon, it's time for school holidays. After the holidays are over, Alice must be arranged to enroll in school. But fortunately, Kraft has grown very quickly during this period of time. From the beginning, Alice's head was half shorter. Now he is only less than 3 centimeters shorter. I believe that when the summer vacation is over, he will be able to catch up with Alice, so that when he arrives at school, he will be more confident as Alice's brother. Kraft, are you ready? The show is about to begin. You, the protagonist, can't be late. Martin Lee's voice came from outside, and Kraft tugged at the neckline that made him uncomfortable, and said, come. Originally, Kraft's vacation was intended to be directly in the laboratory, but Martin Lee was ruthlessly suppressed. Even if he used the Hulk's threat as an excuse, Martin would not allow him to stay bored in the laboratory all the time, and in order to find something to do for him, Dreamland Toys Company held a large-scale exhibition during the summer vacation and forced Kraft to be the mascot. So Kraft put on the little dress that made him uncomfortable again, and got into Martin Lee's car. Ha 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 ha. Wow. 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 As soon as he got into the car, Quinn, who was placed in the trunk, moved his head from the gap in the seat, and kept howling. What's wrong with it? Kraft turned his head and asked Alice who was sitting next to him. Didn't he just feed him? Did he want to go to the bathroom? Because they wanted to take Quinn and Beja to the Dreamland Company's exhibition, the scarves on their necks were taken off early and replaced with ordinary collars, so Kraft didn't understand what Quinn was screaming at. Probably because Quinn wants to sit in front, too. Alice stroked the little black cat lying on her lap, and couldn't help smiling. Just now, Bella provoked Quinn a few words, and then Quinn began to make a fuss. As if to cooperate with Alice's explanation, Quinn gave it whoop in time, and then shook his head up and down. These two guys. Can they quarrel even if they don't understand the language? Kraft looked black, and then turned to Quinn who was still making noise. Don't make trouble. How can you put you in front of you for such a big head? Stay behind me obediently, and come back at night and let Alice do it for you. Delicious. Buying this stupid dog with delicacies has always been unfavorable, so he immediately stopped making noise and lay obediently in the back compartment. With the support of Kraft's Dreamland products several times, the Dreamland Toys Company he founded with Martin has now become famous all over the world. Especially after mastering engineering, the various mechanical pets launched by Dreamland Toys have gained the popularity of friends of wide file size. It can be said that Kraft has become a common idol of teenagers in the United States. Originally, with Kraft's troublesome character, he actually didn't like putting himself in the spotlight, but Martin Lee also had his reasons. With the size of the industry currently owned by Martin Lee, it is impossible to say that the American government has not paid attention to it, but most of the official forces will not come to trouble him. Isn't it because he has gained enough reputation in the media? Although there will still be some light and dark temptations, in comparison, more minor troubles can be avoided. So in the end Kraft was convinced by Martin, anyway, just making toys, not particularly conspicuous. Martin Lee drove Kraft and Alice to the exhibition site. At the moment has not been officially launched. There are already many people in the exhibition and most of them are definitely Chinese. In order to bring more traffic to Chinatown and to ensure the smooth progress of the entire exhibition, Martin Lee naturally placed the venue within his own sphere of influence, and the residents of Chinatown naturally have special preferential treatment, which can be advanced in advance. Admission. Hey. Kraft. In addition to those compatriots in Chinatown, some of Martin's employees in the asylum and Peter Parker and others who were brought in can also be admitted early. Aunt May and Uncle Ben, welcome your visit. Kraft ignored Peter Parker, who was asking Roar, and hugged Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Hey. Kraft. I'm calling you. The neglected Peter Parker was very dissatisfied. If you just want to express your surprise and admiration for my brilliant head, then you don't have to. Kraft rolled his eyes and turned to look at Peter Parker. Who would admire you, a bear boy with a bad stomach? Peter gritted his teeth with anger, remembering his past experience of being killed by Kraft, and he couldn't help but feel sad. So? What are you calling me? I can't call you if I'm okay. I wanted to congratulate you. Now, no more. 
Every time he faces Kraft, Peter loses his usual solitary posture, instead he looks like a grumpy brother. But no matter what kind of state Peter is, Kraft is not afraid and can't help it. After being bullied for such a long time, his psychological advantage is really too great. So he ignored Peter Parker's roar again, and looked forward to himself. Where are Ned and Mary? I remember I invited them too. Didn't you come with you? As he said, Kraft gave Peter a contemptuous look. I gave you assists like this. It's really disappointing that you haven't been able to date Mary yet, Peter. They are here. They are just visiting inside. I'm just waiting for you with Aunt May. Peter helped his glasses, which were a little slanted because of his excitement, and continued to growl and explain. So, you are leaving your crush and let her go on a date with your best friend? Kraft's eyes widened, with a shocked expression. It's not a date, and there are David and the others here, ahem. The continuous roar made Peter Parker feel a little hypoxic, and his throat was also very thirsty. Well, Kraft, don't bully Peter all the time. Martin Lee, who was talking to the Parker couple, couldn't stand it any longer, and reached out and slapped Kraft on the back of the head. Cut. Seeing Martin intervened, Kraft rubbed the back of his head, let go of Peter Parker, and gave him a good luck look, which made Peter Parker's teeth itchy. Because the exhibition hasn't started yet, Kraft plans to take Alice around it first, and find him and Fatty Liao by the way. In the past, Kraft just handed over some mass-produced technologies to Martin Lee at will. In fact, he was not particularly clear about what products they had made, so he could take this opportunity to take a look at his own products. What exactly are there? Directly facing the gate of the venue is a huge amount of agency lock exhibition hall. As the company's first launch and a product praised by Tony Stark, the hot-searched little prince, Dreamland Toys Company naturally gave the largest card. In fact, since the development of agency locks, Kraft no longer needs to update new agencies. The company has recruited a lot of talents in this area, and several new agencies will be updated from time to time, and in terms of publicity, the company also it is very on the Taoist to associate it with the Mohist school art, which also attracts many Western people who like Eastern culture. And the solar skateboard series that occupies the most space in the exhibition is not how good the sales of this series of products are. Although it is indeed good, mainly because this series of products requires a lot of open space for visitors to experience. The most lively definitely is the mechanical pet exhibition area, where a group of bears and children yelled at roar, and there were also a lot of innocent adults mixed with them. In addition, there are pet toys invented by Kraft to pass the time to Beja and Quinn Quidditch series, what kind of ghost fly ball, wandering ball, golden snitch, etc. Various models of automatic teasing cat funny dog. Toy. As for why these names are called. Don't ask, ask is the sense of sight. These products are all Kraft's impressions, and he also saw a product that he did not expect a portable ball series developed based on Dr. AKA's football belt. Although the mass production version of the ball cannot be as infinitely enlarged as in the dream world, the designers in the company solved the shortcoming that the manufactured ball will leak after 10 seconds and developed a recycling function. It is not as good as those professional balls, but for children who are just playing lively, this kind of portable ball is more convenient for them to play. Although it is not the main product, it is said that the sales are good. There are also some products that were probably developed independently by the company's internal designers, but Kraft didn't see how they had anything to do with his dreams anyway. In addition, there are other toy dealers used to make up the number of exhibitors, as well as some of the common traditional stalls in Chinatown, such as sugar painting paper iris window flowers and the like. Then Kraft found Mary Jane in an exhibition area selling fairy sticks and flamboyant costumes. She was holding a pink princess dress in front of her and gestured. Craft. How old are you, sister? Uh, I'm just curious. Perceiving Kraft appearing quietly behind her, Mary Jane tried to struggle, but she quickly gave up. Yes. I just like this beautiful little skirt. Can't it? What's the problem with girls like these things? Alice, who was next to her, nodded her head vigorously, with a look of approval, and cast a coveted look at the little skirt next to her. I didn't say anything. Kraft spread out his hands amusedly, and then waved to Alice. If you like it, try it. Anyway, it's all your own things. Just take it away if you like it. Is it really okay? Alice showed Kraft's bringlin gaze. After getting his affirmation, she gave Kraft an excited hug. You are so kind, brother. Then he rushed into the pile of clothes. Don't you pick one? I can give you one as the master. Kraft looked at Mary Jane's hesitation and secretly pushed her. When the exhibition officially starts, maybe someone will buy it first. There are products limited to the exhibition. If you don't buy it this time, it will be difficult if you want to buy it in the future. Selling limited products at the exhibition is already a basic routine for major manufacturers, but it is still as easy to use as always. 
The beautiful little skirt plus the limited edition made Mary Jane unable to hold it at all, so she was no longer reserved, picking and choosing with Alice on the stall. Almost an hour has passed by the time the two girls have finished picking out their clothes. At the moment, the exhibition has already officially opened, and the attendees of other skin colors have gradually increased. After storing the clothes selected by the two in the store, Kraft asked Mary Jane, Where are David and them? I have something to do with him. He and Ned said they were hungry when they were halfway around, so they ran to find food. Mary Jane, who had bought new clothes, was in a good mood and replied with a smile on her red hair curling her fingers. Dot the fat man said that losing weight is indeed a lie. Kraft rolled his eyes. He thought that after the shooting incident, Fatty Lau's great cause of weight loss could finally be implemented seriously. He did not expect that he still overestimated his good friend. In the end, Kraft found two fat guys at a pancake stand who were enjoying each other, not a typo. Didn't you say you want to lose weight? Kraft stepped forward angrily and gave Fatty Liao a kick. Dot you have the strength to lose weight if you are full. Fatty Liao was silent for a while, put the last pancake in his hand into his mouth, and said sternly. Don't deal with me with what I said. After kicking Fatty Liao again, Kraft talked to him about business. I will be on stage to release a new product in a while. Two people are required to cooperate. Then you will go up with me. No problem. Wrap it on me. Fatty Liao definitely won't refuse this kind of good thing. Just as Kraft explained the details to him, a white young man walked over. It's been a long time, classmate Kraft, have you been well recently? Kraft turned around and looked at the blonde man in front of him, lost in thought, you, dot who? The elegant expression on the comer's face was slightly stagnant, and then he recovered quickly, and continued to smile and said to Kraft, Classmate Kraft is really an honorable person who forgets things. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Faye. Lim Jones, we met before at the All New York High School Joint Exchange Ball. Has this matter? What kind of shit is the All New York High School Joint Exchange Ball? When have I attended such a boring dance party? Kraft tilted his head questioningly, and he asked three times in a daze, but he couldn't get the answer. Finally, after Fatty Lau's whispered reminder, he finally vaguely remembered the guy in front of him who seemed to have added an elegant filter. Oh, it's you, you are welcome. The dance party in my memory did not seem to be a pleasant experience, so Kraft didn't give Felim any good face, but he was always a guest, and Kraft didn't show his disgust, just nodded lightly. I just came over to call Roar, so I won't interrupt. Felim also saw that he was not being treated by Kraft. He still maintained his own elegance, owed a little, and then left, but in fact he was still quite annoyed in his heart. I didn't expect that Kraft's boring inventions could develop to such a degree. It seems impossible to mend the relationship now. Dismissed the guy who didn't know the so-called, Kraft brought Fatty Liao and the others to the innermost stage of the exhibition. At the moment, there was a singing and dancing performance in the center of the stage. The guests who came to join us were sparsely gathering in front of the stage, watching the performance on it. With the end of the performance on the stage, the host came onto the stage, and his voice passed through the speakers placed everywhere and spread to every corner of the venue. Now. I have the chief designer of our Dreamland Toys Company. The genius young man praised by the media and the famous Dr. Kraft Lee, debut. Dreamland Toys and Kraft Lee were both upset. The new products they launched at the fair have driven boys all over New York, the United States, and even the world into madness. In fact, that is the Mechanical Battle Pet series derived from the Mechanical Young Dragon in engineering as the core, and Fatty Lau's so-called help is actually being pulled to the stage to start the Mechanical Battle Pet with Kraft. Watching the two it was just a fight with the pet on the stage, but even so, he also made a big splash, because the scene at that time was rebroadcasted by major news programs. And through the active broadcast of major TV stations, it is natural that the mechanical war pet will suddenly explode. Mechanical and fighting, the attractiveness of these two among boys is no less than that of beautiful little skirts and cosmetics for girls. The production version of the mechanical battle pet still has the shortcomings that the battery life and intelligence are not as good as the original version and the combat power is not as exaggerated as the original version. It will be the combat power of a kitten and puppy when it is dead. However, this is in contrast to an engineering blessed with unscientific power. Learning to create things, if they are put on the Earth's toy market, it is tantamount to a dimensionality reduction blow. For two full weeks, at least in New York, most of the exchanges between boys have only one word, and that is mechanical warfare. This has even led to the rise of various pet clubs. They spontaneously organized various types of pet competitions, the scale of which was so large that a TV station went to buy broadcasting rights, and Kraft took the opportunity to obtain a copyright. Fay even suggested that the name of the game could be called the Pokemon Contest, because the current development is too much like a world with Pokemon in the dreamland, 
but the material for the Pokemon Ball in the Dreamland cannot be obtained by itself, and here there is no such magical creature called Pokemon. It is a pity that this unclear name was rejected by the TV station in the organizer. In Tony Stark's private mansion, a mechanical young dragon sold by Dreamland Toys Company was disassembled into a pile of parts and placed neatly on the workbench in front of Stark. Unexpectedly, there is no built-in electronic chip. Just relying on these delicate mechanisms to interact with each other can make this little guy perform such complicated actions. No wonder the price is so cheap, the cost of this thing is estimated to be not as good as the golden snitch. Stark touched the mustache on his chin and muttered to himself, hearing that he is so familiar with Dreamland's products, he is obviously already a loyal customer. Is that Mohist's organ technique so powerful? Obviously, he was also fooled by the slogan of the Dreamland Toy Company, and mistaken the engineering creation in front of him for the product of institutional science. According to records, more than 2,000 years ago, there was a carpenter named Gonglubin who used wood to make a mechanism bird, and it flew in the sky for three days, but there is no definite evidence for this, so except for China outside, not many people believe it. Jarvis called up all the information related to Lubin and showed it to Tony Stark. But even so, this gentleman named Gongzubin has built many tools that seemed very advanced at the time. This is really amazing. Stark sighed heartily, and then he told Jarvis, Jarvis, you remember to remind me to send an invitation to that little guy when I hold a reception next week. I have to remind you, Mr. Stark, Kraft Lee is not an adult. Oh, isn't it? Tony Stark shrugged and said regretfully, forget it, his luck is really bad, he missed an opportunity to feel happy for a man. It's impossible for Tony Stark to change the layout of the reception specifically because of Kraft. After all, no matter how ingenious the things he invented, they are just toys for boring children. So when Stark disassembled the mechanical young dragon and after understanding the principle, I don't care much about it. In addition to Tony Stark, Shield and Hydra, now also called the National Land Strategic Defense Attack and Logistics Support Bureau, as well as other scientific researchers and forces, are more or less interested in the latest mechanical warfare launched by Dreamland Toys. However, without the blessing of the power of dreams, the technicality and practicality of the mechanical pets are actually not very high. The poor endurance, the inability to capture the target correctly, and the dull movements make it a luxury to be a weapon, although it can also be used. Other technologies make up for these shortcomings, but this is no different from rebuilding a new machine, and the cost will also increase. The main reason that Kraft's mechanical warfare can be admired by those forces is because of its low price. Kraft did not know that he had passed by a lot of mysterious forces, nor did he know that he had missed an invitation from Tony Stark, but with his temperament, he probably didn't bother to participate, especially when he dreamed about it again. Time for new technologies. These guys again. Seeing the familiar red and white umbrella-shaped sign on the wall, Kraft's face showed an expression of disgust. This company named Umbrella has dreamed of it several times before all of which were conducting some inhumane experiments, creating a lot of monsters and zombie viruses. In his memory, their experimenters ended up dying of their own production. Monster on hand. It's a pity that Kraft can't take the initiative to quit or skip the dream, and he has recently consciously wanted to learn some biotechnology-related knowledge, so after an uncomfortable glance at the white coat in front of him, he still followed honestly. By his side, he planned to see what the company was planning to do. However, this time Umbrella's researchers did not conduct human experiments as before, but were instructing coolies to assemble some kind of machinery. If you guys are engaged in machinery, I'll be eager. Although Kraft has been doing psychological construction for himself after seeing Umbrella's logo, it is naturally best to be able to avoid seeing those disgusting pictures. After a sigh of relief, Kraft walked to the white coat and looked at it. What Umbrella is assembling is a supercomputer, and the dream is not over after they are assembled, but the protagonist of the dream, the middle-aged man, continues to type the code on this computer. Cannot read, Kraft was hit a bit. He was already very good at programming, especially after making Alice and Harrow. He felt that even if his computer skills were not top-notch, he would not lose to the high tide. How many hackers of that group? But most of the code written by the slightly bald middle-aged man in front of him could not understand most of it. But from the overall structure, Kraft can still see what he is writing. Artificial intelligence. An artificial intelligence that is much more complex than Haro. As for Alice. That girl is blessed by unscientific power and cannot be counted. With the complexity of this artificial intelligence, Ability is afraid that it will far surpass Harrow, which made Kraft forget the loss at once, and stared at the computer screen quietly, expecting the success of this white coat. If he is really successful, then Kraft will be able to try out the databases of the mysterious forces that have not been able to enter before, and to find the artificial intelligence of the Stark family to break his wrists. 
The fingers of the white coat fluttered quickly on the keyboard, and a string of characters appeared on the computer screen. In the eyes of Kraft's expectation, they finally turned into an avatar of a little girl. Angela. As the little girl's figure appeared on the computer screen, tears appeared in the white coat's eyes. He tremblingly stretched out his hand and stroked the little girl's face across the screen. The little girl on the screen interrupted Dr. Charles's true feelings indifferently. Sorry, Dr. Charles Ashford, if there is nothing wrong with my core program, my name seems to be. Red Queen. When Kraft woke up from his dream, he didn't rush to make the Red Queen as usual. Although he can directly copy the operations in the dream world like making Harrow, the Red Queen is made by Umbrella, a black-hearted company, to work for herself. What dangers are buried in her code? The stuff of Kraft is not yet clear. Therefore, although Kraft saw the powerful ability of the Red Queen to manipulate the network in his dream, he did not lose his reason. Definitely, the super he used to carry the Red Queen first copied the original model. With the assistance of Harrow, it is not as difficult to analyze the source code of the Red Queen, but it takes up computing resources. The computer he used before is a bit difficult to use, but it happens that Kraft has just started. A supercomputer. With a better computer host and the aid of the artificial intelligence Harrow, it took Kraft two and a half days to analyze the source code of the Red Queen. In addition to the artificial intelligence of the Red Queen, it is indeed mixed. Some of Umbrella's experimental data and various plans, but most of these contents were also seen in Kraft's dreams, so he deleted them all without hesitation. Then about the virtual appearance of the Red Queen, the image of the little white girl was directly passed by Kraft, he considered for a while, and simply used the appearance of Dr. Dongyun in the dream. In addition, judging from the behavior of the Red Queen in the dream, her emotional system seems to be not as rich as Haro's, and it is even more incomparable with Alice. Kraft also considered adding a little emotional logic to it, but in the end still gave up. For one thing, his technology has not yet reached the point where he can develop artificial intelligence independently. If he just bluntly stuffs the emotional logic code of Harrow or Alice into the red source code, God knows what will happen out of control in the end. Variety. The second reason is that the Red Queen's network invasion ability is too powerful. The rigid mechanical thinking in the dream can ensure that she will not lose control easily, and if she really has a human emotional system, what if there is a rebellious period? Yes, Kraft doesn't have the ability to discipline her. So that's it. Kraft typed the last line of code, then solemnly hit the enter key. The green data stream flows quickly in the screen, and then gradually forms the image of a cute little girl with long golden hair, big blue eyes, but an oriental appearance, wearing a dress on her body. The slightly fat white coat, the hemline dragged to the ankle position, and the long sleeves almost concealed the entire arm, only a little finger was faintly exposed. Hello, Angela. Kraft smiled and beckoned to the little girl on the screen. Although he also reserved the code name, Red Queen, for the new artificial intelligence, he did not delete the name Angela because of Alice. Although Kraft prefers to use the original name of Dong Yun Shao Loli, whether it is Doctor, or Hakase, or Doctor, they are more like codes than names. There is nothing better than Red Queen. So after thinking about it for a long time, I still use the name of Dr. Charles's daughter in the dream. Hello, Kraft. Angela on the screen is not as cute as Dr. Dong Yun in the dream, with a cold face without any expression. So, let's try the artificial intelligence of the Stark family first. Kraft licked his lips and ordered with excitement. Hello, you come to assist Angela. The mission begins, the mission begins. Although Angela's network penetration capability is stronger, Harrow is more flexible in shielding information and getting rid of tracking. This is related to the focus of the two artificial intelligences. With the assistance of Harrow, Angela's whereabouts will become more flexible. It's even more ghostly, and with Angela's blessing, Harrow's computing ability has also been improved. The two complement each other, resulting in an effect that 1 plus 1 is far greater than 2. Beep, Dick. Tony Stark, who was sleeping on his big bed with his arms around the cover girl of the latest issue of Playboy, was awakened by a rapid sirens, and he suddenly turned up from the bed. What happened? Jarvis. Your network is being hacked, Mr. Stark. While dealing with Angela's attack, Jarvis still did not forget to answer Stark as soon as possible. From the intrusion method, it looks like the unknown artificial intelligence before, and he has become stronger. Leave by yourself, I don't have time to accompany you now. Stark put on his pants, threw a stack of banknotes on the cover girl who had only come to awake and hadn't figured out the situation, and then, naked to the upper body, walked quickly towards the laboratory he built underground. The cover girl looked at Stark at a loss without looking back, grabbed the banknote that was thrown in front of her and tried to smash it at him. However, after she paused for a while with her hand holding the banknote next to her head, she slowed down again. The floor was put down, 
and then he hummed a tune and put the money into the limited edition bag that Stark gave him yesterday, before slowly putting on his clothes. Tony Stark walked into his laboratory, sat down in front of the computer that had been turned on by Jarvis, and quickly tapped the keyboard. I was accidentally ran away by you last time, but it's not that easy this time. When his network was hacked, Stark was not angry, but he felt the excitement he had been missing for a long time. Because of the existence of Jarvis, ordinary hackers were simply vulnerable to him. Jarvis caught the master, if it wasn't for Stark to bother them, and relying on the information hacked from their computer by Jarvis, none of the guys could escape. But the situation is different now. The opponent is also an artificial intelligence like Jarvis, and is constantly learning to evolve. This makes Stark, who has always been a master and lonely, a rare challenge. Although Mr. Tony Stark confidently went up with A, the reality is always cruel. With the cooperation of Angela and Harrow, even Jarvis and Tony Stark could not resist. Soon, Stark's protective network was hacked by Angela and Harrow, and the database of Stark's home was completely exposed to Kraft. Under normal circumstances, Stark should cut off the network for the first time and use physical means to protect the data in his computer from being intruded. However, in order to test Angela's ability, Kraft chose a frontal intrusion, and Tony Stark's pride, after being defeated head on, he really couldn't make a useless method of cutting off the network. Jarvis. Continue to trace the origin of this artificial intelligence. Tony Stark roared with red eyes, he chose to completely abandon the protection of his side and use all his power to fight back. Mr. Stark, I must remind you that if you do this, all the information on your computer will be leaked out. Jarvis dutifully reminded while following Tony Stark's orders. It doesn't matter. I must get this guy who hides his head and reveals his tail. Stark growled loudly. He, Tony Stark, has never suffered this kind of grievance in his life. Although Stark wanted to spot the intruder, the development of things was not always driven by human will. What's more, Kraft's original intention was not to invade Stark's database, but to test the abilities of Angela and Harrow. So after breaking into Stark's network, he didn't ask Angela to search for information. Instead, he switched from offensive to defensive and tested the defensive ability. Mr. Stark, the other party does not seem to be hostile. Jarvis soon discovered the abnormal behavior of the intruder. He decisively reported the situation to Tony Stark and made his own judgment. As this. Taking us for a test? I suddenly realized that Stark laughed angrily, but thought that he had indeed lost to the opponent, and shook his head helplessly, giving up on tracking. Who are you? Stark, who gave up the resistance, sent an inquiry message to the opponent. Soon, the other party sent a reply. Red Queen. The Red Queen? Is it a girl? The cyber war between artificial intelligences has long ended. Tony Stark returned to his room, and the cover girl had already left, but Stark didn't care at all. He took out a new set of clothes from the closet and just put it on. With the coffee made by Jarvis for him, he walked to the restaurant. What girl? You have a new goal again. Virginia Pepperpaws, nicknamed Pepper, is Tony Stark's personal assistant, press spokesperson, nanny, psychologist, and Jung Gong Empress. In short, he is an essential person in Tony Stark's life and work. For example, she just sent away the cover girl who stayed here last night for Tony Stark, and prepared him his favorite cheeseburger for breakfast. New goal? Tony Stark was stunned, then nodded firmly, and said categorically. Yes, she is indeed my new target, it looks like she is very special. Pepper, who knows Tony Stark very well, has panic acid in her heart. She has never seen Stark show such a serious expression to a woman. Yes. Very special. Stark didn't notice the subtle thoughts of his personal assistant at all, and he replied with bright eyes. I have been completely fascinated by her. So, what kind of gifts and restaurants do I need to prepare for you? Pepper suppressed the sourness in his heart and asked according to the usual process. Gift? Restaurant? It was only then that Stark realized that the conversation between the two did not seem to be on the same channel. No, you don't need those. Stark chuckles. You can't chase that girl with these things. Really? Tony Stark's misleading statement made Pepper no longer able to suppress the jealousy in her heart. She began to become irritated. What happened in life? Hey, little chili, are you jealous? Tony Stark continued to tease Pepper very happily. He was defeated in the cyber war before, and he was somewhat depressed, but now he has completely recovered. Stark is now quite repulsive of marriage. Otherwise, he would not be able to determine the relationship for so long while he was in love with Pepper, but he saw that Pepper was jealous for himself. It's impossible to say that Tony Stark is unhappy. I'm just your personal assistant, so what's so jealous? With a bitter heart, Pepper threw the breakfast he had brought into Tony Stark's hand, then turned to leave. He was grabbed by Stark. Okay, don't be angry. Tony Stark is not a fool. 
Naturally, it is impossible to let Pepper go just like this. It is a joke. If you really want to make Pepper misunderstand, and leave him in a rage, it will make Tony Stark unacceptable. Quickly recounting what happened just now, Stark also pulled out Jarvis to testify in order to explain the misunderstanding. After listening to Tony Stark's explanation, Pepper secretly breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, and then started counting down Stark again with annoyance at Roar Roar. How can you be so self-willed? What if your database is really hacked? Do you know how much damage it will cause to the company? You can't always do what you like, Tony. Stark's computer contains a lot of information about Stark Industries, as well as various design drawings and the like, so if it is really leaked, the consequences will definitely not be any better than the closure of the weapons department after he said. Okay, okay, I got it. Tony Stark smiled and dealt with Pepper's anger. Isn't it all right? And with the strength shown by the artificial intelligence, she wanted to sneak attack on the data of Stark Industry while I was not paying attention, and Jarvis was not blocked by ability. At this point, Tony Stark's expression became serious, and he stretched out his hands to support Pepper's shoulders. So little Pepper, in the next period of time, I will upgrade Jarvis. The company's affairs will be handled by you. I see, don't worry about it, Tony. Speaking of business affairs, Pepper also regained her vigorous and resolute approach. On the other hand, Kraft didn't know that during this test, he actually put the famous Tony Stark on autism. If he wanted to know, he might even laugh out loud. After testing Angela's ability with Jarvis, Kraft also gave her the two tasks he had been doing before. Regarding the person behind the Magia Gang human experiment and the source of vibranium, the main material for making Captain America's shield. After several days of intelligence collection and screening, there is still no clue about the information about the Magia Gang. After all, seven years ago, the internet was not well developed, the data stored in the computer was very small, and the man behind the scenes be very cautious, and the relevant information has basically been erased at the physical level. And there is too much information related to human experiments. Not only America is the best in this respect, but other countries have similar experiments more or less, and the research direction is basically taking the road of super soldiers. It seems that the impact of this successful case of Captain America is still great. Therefore, it is basically impossible to start from forces related to human experiments. Excluding other countries, America alone has a large number of official and unofficial forces that have conducted human experiments in secret, and even the number in America is about to catch up. The sum of the rest of the countries. Instead, the news about vibranium was quickly locked by Angela and Harrow. This peculiar metal of vibranium comes from a small country in northeastern Africa called Wakanda. It can be obtained through two channels. One is a small amount of vibranium that is occasionally sold by the government, and the other is smuggling. Therefore, the price of vibranium has always been high and has a price. There is no market, and it is simply not easy to buy. The high price is not a big problem for Kraft now, but the problem is that he may not be able to buy it if he has money. And, obviously Wakanda has this kind of resources far beyond gold and diamonds. Why is it still a poor and backward agricultural country with international subsidies? Kraft has carefully calculated all the recorded total amount of vibranium that has flowed from Wakanda and the sales price. As long as half of it is used for its own development, Wakanda is absolutely impossible to remain a poor country. So out of curiosity, he asked Angela and Harrow to investigate Wakanda more deeply. Then, he was shocked. Wakanda, a so-called backward agricultural country, actually has not weak network technology, and even has its exclusive spy agency pride. The main role of this agency is to block and delete information about Wakanda on the internet, but it also supports it. The blessing of this spy agency can give Angela a chance to hack into Wakanda's internal network. This is really shameless enough. Looking at the information Angela had collected, Kraft showed a mocking smile on his face. Wakanda's sorrowful operation made Kraft feel sick. If you just hide in the ravines and make your own spontaneity, you can create an isolated peach blossom field. After all, it is normal to be guilty of crimes, and to conceal something, just like Kraft does not want America to know his technology. As a means of self-protection, there is nothing to blame. However, not only did they hide their good things strictly, they also pretended to be a disadvantaged group taking aid from other countries, sitting and watching the surrounding African compatriots in distress and not lending a helping hand. This cannot be blamed on General Kraft. They were exposed. Definitely, Kraft will definitely not do this proactive exposure. The name of a genius boy with mechanical ability is enough for Kraft. He doesn't want to expose himself anymore. Network level. So this information about Wakanda, after going round and round, was arranged by Kraft into the hands of the Rising Tide organization. It's impossible to send them definitely. Although their slogans are very beautiful, Kraft doesn't believe in that, and just sends them directly to the past, and organizes the habit of questioning everything by the rising tide. Take it as a deliberate provocation. 
So Kraft asked Angela to select a few people from the High Tide organization, and then in an unremarkable way, little by little information about Wakanda was pushed to them, and when they were aroused to take the initiative to check, then just a little help in the dark. However, it would take time to ferment, so Kraft did not sit idle, but continued to let Angela wander around the internet, collecting information that he was interested in. For example, the database that he had not been able to break before, and the true identities of the mysterious forces. This time Kraft didn't choose to attack directly, but sneaked into the village and didn't want to shoot. Angela and Harrow walked around the databases of the major forces like ghosts, but most of the information they found was nothing special. Those major forces, especially the FBI agent organization, were stored in the database. Most of the information is a bit outdated, except for some plans and arrangements that must be connected to the internet, the really important information should be stored separately and physically isolated. And Kraft found intelligence about Martin Lee in a database called the Bureau of Homeland Strategic Defense Attacks and Logistics Support. Mr. Film, real name Martin Lee, winner of the Medal of Freedom, famous Chinatown philanthropist, boss of the Devil Gang, suspected of having dual personality, possessing special ability, and the Magia Gang is a deadly enemy, the reason is unknown. Kraft scanned it roughly, the information was quite detailed, even his own name was mentioned, and then he looked at the bottom line of the information the degree of harm is not high, I suggest staying focused. Obviously Martin's past operations that Kraft didn't understand very well, played a role at this time. Well, Kraft touched his nose, I am still a bit too tender. But. Did Martin already know that there is such a country and what kind of bureau, or did it happen by chance? Kraft recalled Martin's awkward operation when he first came into contact with the smartphone, and felt that he and his demon gang should not have any powerful intelligence capabilities, so the chances of it still happen to be higher, but he can only say that he is indeed a scheming man, and unexpectedly removed a threat without knowing it. But the name Devil Gang, is really hard to explain in a word. Kraft once again complained about Martin's name ability, the Yasha Gang or the Yama Gang are more in line with the temperament of the underground emperor of Chinatown. While slandering his adoptive father, Kraft did not forget to tell Angela. Always pay attention to Mr. Negative's intelligence. If he is in danger, he will notify me in time. Kraft pointed to the figure in the arrogant white suit with the mask of the heart demon in the database of the Bureau of Land and Resources. In addition to Martin Lee, such as Fatty Lau's family, Aunt May's family, etc., people who have a better relationship with him, Kraft has brought Angela's attention. After all, dangerous things like Hulk have appeared in America. There are so many dead guys doing human experiments in the back every day, and it's always good to be prepared. Because they haven't dreamed of any new content recently, and it takes some time for them to find out the truth by themselves at the high tide, so the boring time after Kraft's research is passed by looking through the databases of these major forces. Ends. I have to say that the struggles between these big forces are complicated enough. Not only are spies interposed between each other, but they are also not very peaceful within themselves. Members of different camps fight happily in one force. When I didn't let Harrow help me out the logic, Kraft couldn't understand what they were tossing about. When Kraft's nest was eating melons in his laboratory and flying, Wakanda's affairs were finally dug up by members of the High Tide Organization. There were two members of the Rising Tide Organization that dug up Wakanda's intelligence. They found out the tricks in that poor country in Africa, almost at the same time, but the choices made by the two were completely different. One of the members regarded the purpose and slogan of the Rising Tide Organization as the norm. As soon as he obtained this information, he exposed all the evidence in his hand, not only on the internet, major media, the president's mailbox, and even he delivered a copy to the United Nations and some countries in Africa. And his operation caused another guy miserable, because this person chose to sell the information to the American military, and as a result, they just finished the transaction on the front foot, and the information related to the back foot has been spread all over the sky, and spread. The author was also afraid that others would not know it, and clearly marked the name of the Rising Tide Organization. How this hapless guy will be hunted down by the military will not be mentioned for the time being. Anyway, the entire America, to be precise, the whole world is boiling over because of this information. Because the information is so comprehensive, from doubts to speculations to data comparisons, to photo and video evidence, Wakanda, a country that is holding a golden rice bowl and beggars internationally, has been exposed. Now everyone is not doing it. If you have such a good thing, you don't need to share it. Why do you want to share a piece of the pie from other countries that are really suffering? The most indignant is probably the old blacks who are also waiting for international assistance in Africa. There is a landlord's old fortune hidden among the difficult brothers who share the gruel together. You can't slap your face and slap you with big ears. So Wakanda was surrounded by a group of old blacks with the same skin color as theirs, that is, their protective shield was strong enough to not let the mob rush in to carry out venting destruction, but on the ground outside the shield, 
it was already the angry African people are filled with foul-smelling garbage. In addition, Prince Wakanda T'Challa, who is studying at Oxford University, was also dug out by the High Tide Organization. Then he suffered a series of campus violence. England's intelligence agency MI6 made a decisive decision to protect T'Challa in the name of protecting foreign dignitaries. T'Challa was put under house arrest. And the initiator of all this, at the moment has long been out of the way, hiding his merit and fame. Wakanda has been taken away by others, and his international reputation has been greatly reduced. In addition, his prince has now fallen into the hands of other people. Even if they have the technology that far exceeds other countries, they dare not act rashly. What's more, they are not peaceful in their country. No matter how they are isolated from the world, some careerists will always breed. It is rare to encounter such a God-given opportunity. These careerists fooled a group of Wakanda citizens who were unwilling to stay in peace and began to work in secret. Up. In the outside world, even America is conservative with Wakanda. Although they are very greedy for the advanced technology in those photos and videos, they dare not push Wakanda too tightly because they understand the advanced level of technology. On the premise that both sides maintained restraint, Wakanda and the United Nations were caught in a long-term wrangling. No matter how lively it is on the world and on the internet, it has nothing to do with Kraft, because he. School starts. When the new semester started, Kraft, who was promoted to the eighth grade, brought along the robot sister Alice, who loves to go to school. At this time, the two of them are already generally tall. If you really want to count, maybe Kraft still to be so tall, it made him feel less resistant to taking Alice to school. Big brother. I want to go too. I want to go too. On the first day of school, the dog Quinn hugged Kraft's thigh with his two front paws and howled loudly. You and the eldest sister are not here, the house is so boring. Don't make trouble. Pets are not allowed in the school. Kraft rubbed Quinn's dog's head and grinned irritably. Surprised. Racial discrimination again. Cold air. When will we little animals stand up? Don't you humans have an animal protection association? They don't care. You watched something all day long. Kraftella pulled at Quinn's fat face and felt that he should restrict his use of the TV and computer. Hello. Don't show Quinn any weird things in the future. Harrow understands. Harrow understands. Surprised. Not only does it not take me to school, but also restricts me from watching TV, is this reasonable? Quinn made a lot of fun, one turned over and lay down on the ground, four dog paws kicking the air indiscriminately. I don't care. I want to go to school, I want to go to school. Three packs of snacks, Kraft offered his assassin. Five packs. As soon as he heard that there was something to eat, Quinn was energized, and he stood up again with a twist of his body, and began to bargain with Kraft with a serious face. Only three bags, love or not, you will become David if you eat it. Okay, brother, go slowly, be careful on the road. Quinn quickly drew Kraft's school bag to his feet and put it down, wagging his tail with a flattering smile. Ah, Kraft sighed weakly, lifted the school bag at his feet, and walked out. He regretted that he bought Quinn back because of the lack of sight. It was a cat and cat without worry, but Beja didn't have so many. Moth. Brought Alice to the Vantus Public Middle School to report that Mr. Martin, the school director, called Roar in advance, and the school definitely arranged her into Kraft's class. And when Alice went to school for the first time, she was welcomed by the whole class. She has a cute appearance and a soft personality, and she is still Kraft's sister. No matter which one, there will be a lot of people who want to have a good relationship with her, not to mention Alice is still a combination of the three. However, there is actually a female classmate who wants to have a relationship with herself through Alice, which Kraft did not expect. Am I so popular? Kraft scratched his head and asked with some doubts about Fatty Liao, who was envious and jealous. In most schools in America, nerds are actually not very popular. Instead, they are the main targets of school violence. Although Kraft is not a nerd, he often hangs out in his laboratory and his classmates. The relationship is actually quite general. Have you forgotten that you are the big boss of Dreamland Toys Company? Invisible pretending to be the most deadly. Seeing that Kraft's face is not like pretending, Fatty Liao gripped his heart and gasped, gnashing his teeth bitterly. Students at this age may not yet understand what Dreamland Toys represents, but it does not prevent them from admiring Kraft, and if you really get into Kraft, then Barbie doll fairies will be great in the future, isn't it everything? Little girls at this age, even their desires seem so cute. It's a pity that Kraft couldn't understand, he politely declined all the girls' invitations. Nonsense. I don't have enough time to drill in the lab, so how can I have time to date girls? When Fatty Liao asked Kraft heartbrokenly, he just replied so righteously. Fatty Liao was so angry that he pointed at Kraft with his short radish-like fingers. Alice's first trip to campus went smoothly, 
so when she went back in a happy mood, she walked all the way. Seeing Alice's joyous look, Kraft's mood was also affected a lot and happy. Until, they opened the door. The house was in a mess. The food and furnishings on the coffee table were scattered all over the floor. Several chairs were downside down. The green plants and leaves in the corners were almost lost. The sofa was full of holes, and it was sharp minions, ripped out. Queen. Get out of me, you stupid dog. Kraft's eyes twitched and he roared. However, after he finished shouting, he waited for a long time, before Quinn's stupid dog appeared, and the little black cat Bea seemed to be missing. But Kraft didn't notice this at this time. He walked to the TV angrily. Although the red harrow that was placed there was gone, Kraft and Angela only existed on the internet. Of artificial intelligence. Angela. Call me the surveillance at home today. With Kraft's order, the TV in front of him automatically turned on and began to broadcast everything that happened at home after he and Alice left. Then Kraft looked darker and darker. He thought that the culprit was Quinn, a stupid dog, but he didn't expect it to be the quiet little black cat Beja. I thought she was more worry-free before, but Quinn is not much better, although he is not the culprit, but an accomplice can't get away. What happened was very simple. The little black cat Bea got tired of playing with the toys that Kraft prepared for her, and became interested in the knick-knacks on the coffee table. After pushing them all off the coffee table, she was still not satisfied, and left the toys. The plates of fruits and nuts were also pushed down. After clearing the coffee table, Beja jumped on the sofa and started practicing claws. At this time, Quinn ran down from the upstairs with the snacks that Kraft promised him, and saw that Beja was tearing down the house. Not only did she not stop her. Instead, he joined in, and a cat and a dog turned the house upside down. After the trouble was over, probably because they thought they would be blamed, the two guilty guys hid, and didn't forget to take away the harrow who was used for monitoring. When the two of them were picked out by Kraft following the video, they looked unbelievable. We obviously hid Harrow together, it's gay. Watching his crime evidence broadcast on TV, Quinn buried his head between his paws. And Beja, the culprit, put on a well-behaved look, slipped into Alice's arms and acted like, meow meow meow, while rubbing against him, wanting to fool around like this. Elder brother, the soft-hearted Alice wanted to speak for them, but was interrupted by Kraft's wave. Impossible. These two guys are dead. Then Kraft took the materials on the spot, rubbed a bunch of parts with the engineering ability, assembled two pet-specific treadmills, and threw Quinn and Beja into it. Big brother, you have no heart. Rua, you can't abuse small animals. While Alice was enjoying a new campus life, Wakanda's incident finally came to an end. Wakanda opened up part of the technology in its own country to other countries, and put vibranium resources on the shelves. Although the price is still relatively high, at least it is no longer so difficult to buy. The United Nations also returned Wakanda's prince T'Challa, and lifted the economic and resource blockade on Wakanda. The major media have also begun to replenish Wakanda in public opinion, so that their reputation in the world is no longer than everyone shouted and beat, but even so, there were still many people who didn't like Wakanda. After tossing for a long time, it turns out that I still can't buy it. Kraft hammered the table severely. The reason why he exposed Wakanda was not only unsightly, but more importantly, he wanted to have a channel to buy the vibranium there. Although Wakanda has opened up the sale of vibranium, it is also targeted at various countries and large consortia. He can't get in at all. Even Martin is not eligible to buy vibranium from formal channels. America is the only private force that is eligible to join the vibranium transaction. It is estimated that it is Stark Industries and Osborne Group. However, although vibranium is not available in regular channels, it does not mean that other channels are not. Because Wakanda's information has been exposed, a large number of mercenaries and smuggling teams have poured into Africa plus some local ambitions, let alone vibranium, even a small part of Wakanda's technology can be found in the black market by spending money. This is why Kraft wants to poke things out, because as long as the mouth is opened, many things are no longer under Wakanda's control. When he understood that he couldn't go through the formal channels, Kraft took the second plan to run to Martin Lee for help. With Mr. Film, the underworld boss, he was not afraid of encountering black and black situations. Just 10 grams is enough. Martin Lee naturally agreed to Kraft's request. After learning about the scientific research capability of his adopted son, he was unlikely to hinder Kraft's research. On the contrary, he felt that he requested too little. What can you study out of 10 grams of metal? I will try to get you more. Martin Lee said in a big way, although vibranium is only a gram of 10,000 US dollars, but Martin Lee is a person who lacks money. Even Kraft himself has enough money to buy vibranium. Kraft did not speak, and silently took out a pistol-shaped flashlight from his backpack and then pulled the trigger at the little black cat Beja on the side. Under the light of the flashlight, 
Beja was quickly enlarged within half a meter into a giant cat several times larger than a lion, squeezing the surrounding furniture into pieces. Meow. Beja, who was lying on the sofa and licking fur, looked at everything that was shrinking rapidly around him with a dazed expression. The tongue that was sticking out to lick fur had forgotten to retract. Surprised. Big brother, I want to. When Quinn saw Beja grow bigger, his first reaction was that his only advantage, his size, was gone. He put his two front paws on Kraft's legs and flicked his tail frantically. Go go. You want everything. Kraft pushed Quinn's head away, then pressed the flashlight again, and pulled the trigger on Beja again. Looking at the smaller furniture all around, Beja, who was about to move his big paws, suddenly shrank back to its original file size. Martin Lee's mouth grew wide, and he didn't close it for a long time. How? Dot how did you do it? It's still that sentence, I don't know it very well. Kraft shrugged, anyway, I thought about how it should be possible to do this, and then I did it. He also didn't expect that the short, fat and wretched looking Zawan Chinbei in the dream could actually create such an exaggerated prop. This has completely ignored the laws of physics of energy conservation, because what is illuminated by this randomly changed flashlight is simply magnification. The internal molecule file size, arrangement order, etc., are exactly the same as the original, which means it is equal to a lot of the same unstable substances were created out of thin air, and no time limit. What is even more unscientific is that when he irradiates the light, he will only magnify the target he wants to magnify, and the rest of the objects illuminated by the light will have no reaction at all as long as Kraft does not have the idea of magnifying them. In short, it's much better than GNOME Technologies' shrinking light gun and world amplifier. After obtaining this freely changing flashlight, Kraft's first thought was that it would save a lot of time and expense for manufacturing materials in the future. Well, in this case, 10 grams is indeed enough. Martin Lee swallowed and was shocked time after time by Kraft's invention, he was a little used to it. I will help you get vibranium as soon as possible. But, after calming down, Martin reluctantly pointed to the messy living room, can't you take a smaller example as an example? Ahaha. I don't think it is more shocking to show with living things? Kraft smiled dryly and stroked the back of his head. Well, it's really shocking. Martin Lee nodded in agreement, so remember to tidy the living room. Uh. I see. Kraft replied dejectedly, and began to clean up the living room messed up by Beja, but fortunately, with Alice's help, the two quickly finished cleaning up. Martin Lee, or the Demon Gang was very efficient, and 10 grams of vibranium was quickly delivered to Kraft. There is the existence of changing the flashlight at will. As long as there is a little raw material, Kraft doesn't care about the consumption problem, so after testing the nature of vibranium, he changed all the equipment and the materials on Alice and Harrow. Again. Definitely does not mean that all metals are suitable for replacing with vibranium, but with vibranium as the raw material and supported by the technology in the dream, Kraft has made many special alloys, which not only strengthens its own equipment, but also unlocks it. A lot of engineering drawings that have stalled due to material reasons. And when Kraft was addicted to tossing vibranium, a big event happened outside. The big boss of Stark Industries, a well-known scientist, billionaire, arms manufacturer, playboy and media darling, Mr. Tony Stark, was attacked by a terrorist while displaying weapons in the Middle East. His whereabouts are currently unknown. The media, which was still eating the residue of the Wakanda incident, suddenly found a new hot spot. Now outside the Stark building, seven of the ten people are reporters, and two are security guards in charge of order. Disappeared. Kraft smacked with regret. Although he didn't like Tony Stark very much, he still admired his achievements in scientific research. And since the last time Angela and Harrow were used to bully the artificial intelligence called Jarvis, Stark has upgraded Jarvis from time to time, and then ran to the internet to find Angela to fight. However, artificial intelligence has reached the level of Angela and Jarvis. The so-called upgrade basically increases the amount of computing and computing speed. Stark, a rich man, doesn't know how much hardware has been smashed for Jarvis. After several cyber wars have been fought, Kraft has to add two umbrella supercomputers to Angela as a backing. But Kraft's side is not without gains, hardware upgrades increase the amount of computing and computing speed, but the confrontation between the two artificial intelligences allows them to optimize their own behavioral logic. At least Angela is fresher than at the beginning. Live a lot. This is why Kraft would take Stark's provocation before, and why he feels regretful now. Regarding the disappearance of Tony Stark in the Middle East, Kraft is not interested in helping him, and it is not his turn to be anxious. At most, it is regrettable that Angela may lose one opponent in the future. Dot Y is a genius child again. Kraft opened his eyes and sat up on the bed, rubbing his temples a little irritably. He is dreaming again, this time the protagonist of the dream is even more exaggerated than Dr. Dongyun. 
Although he was two years older than Dr. Dongyun, the little boy named Tongdi made things that were much more practical than Dr. Dongyun's invention. In other words, the combat effectiveness is much stronger. In this respect, Kraft is still very satisfied to be able to dream of him. It's a big blow to myself. And compared to Dongyun Shao Loli's unreasonable genius, Tongdi can be such a genius, anyway, there is a bit of logic he has made himself a learning helmet, can pour knowledge directly into his head. Well, this learning helmet originally doesn't speak much logic anymore. But it was a great help to craft. Although I have learned so many weird inventions from the dream, many of them are based on the gourd paintings. In fact, they have a little understanding of their principles, or even completely do not understand them. This learning helmet invented by Tong Di at least craft can quickly understand the principles of those inventions, not just copying them, but transforming them more suitable for him. For example, he had dreamed of an invention called Dragon Ball Radar. You can tell from the name that this thing was used to find something called Dragon Ball, but Kraft's world didn't have any Dragon Balls at all. That Dragon Ball radar he after it was made, it was too low in brightness for lighting, and it was not useful at all. But after understanding the manufacturing principle of Dragon Ball radar, he can change the function of searching Dragon Ball and apply the function of radar to other aspects. There are many similar inventions. Kraft could only spend time constantly reading through the books and notes of those characters in the dream. Some scenes without books can only be understood slowly by repeatedly playing the production process. Now that this learning helmet is different, Kraft can pour that knowledge directly into his head little by little. Well, it is indeed poured in bit by bit. After making the learning helmet, Kraft tried to use it, and then realized that this thing also has requirements for the user. Genius children like Tong Di can unscrupulously use a lot of knowledge at once. Sex poured into one's head. And ordinary human brains like Kraft can't receive too much knowledge infusion at one time. It would not be possible to burst directly, but as the content is poured in, his brain becomes like a paste. The whole person's consciousness will begin to blur, and his thinking will also fall into chaos. When he finally wakes up, the relevant knowledge has long been forgotten, and even what he did when his thinking was confused before is not clear. It's a bit similar to his early dream state, or the feelings expressed by those crazy alcohol and fey yeji bastards. But even so, Kraft's learning progress has improved a lot, especially for those who have dreams of scientific knowledge books placed in the laboratory or in the room, it is much easier to understand the principles of their invention. After absorbing several knowledge from different worlds, Kraft also discovered that there are some rule differences in each world, but he himself can ignore these differences. If he wants to use the rules of a certain world, he can make that world. The rule takes effect when he makes items. So am I. Super ability. Kraft looked down at his hands and muttered to himself with some confusion. But this also explained why he was able to master the weird hand rubbing bronze pipe technique of engineering, which is probably a certain rule in the world of Azeroth. There is no instruction manual for this dream, Kraft can only speculate a little bit based on his own experience. For Kraft, definitely, it doesn't really matter what the principle of using the dream world rule is. He is more interested in the production principles of those inventions and creations in the dream world. Kraft, Bruce Banner has entered New York. Countless rays of light gathered in front of Kraft, forming Angela's phantom. This is a new function that Kraft added to Angela after he mastered the projection technology in a certain dreamland. It does not even need to install a special projection device. As long as there is enough light source, Angela can control the light by herself. It is adjusted to the band that can project her avatar. In short, it is another thing that refuses to reason with science. Er, technology. Bruce Banner? Didn't that guy hide in the inaccessible jungle? What did he run back to New York for? For the walking disaster of Hulk, Kraft has always kept Angela's attention. The information he got before was that Bruce Banner didn't want Hulk to cause damage anymore, so he consciously hid, and also avoided chasing him by the way. The reluctant America military. It's also interesting to say that General Ross, who has been chasing Bruce Banner, is actually his girlfriend's father, and his girlfriend Betty Ross is also a master who has forgotten his father, or who saves everything for love, for Bruce. Banner resolutely turned his face with his father. However, from Kraft's point of view, General Rose did nothing, and being betrayed by his own daughter can only say that he deserves it. Bruce Banner seems to have found a solution to Hulk. Angela didn't know that Kraft at the moment was complaining about America's real power generals. She was still cold, answering Kraft's questions mechanically, and only when she played against Jarvis on the internet, could she I saw a hint of excitement on her face. I tracked Bruce Banner's recent emails and found that he had been using Mr. Green as his screen name, communicating with a person called Mr. Lan on the internet, and sending some of his own blood in the past, wanting that Mr. Lan help solve Hulk's problem, now it seems that he has succeeded. Mr. Blue, Mr. Green, did they know each other before? No, 
Judging from the chat history, they seem to have only communicated on the internet. Angela intercepted the content of a few paragraphs of the email, and the content above did indicate that the two had not met each other. WTF. A guy who hasn't even seen him, Bruce Banner dared to send his own blood, and he also took the initiative to meet him. Isn't he afraid that this is a trap for the military? The craft people are stupid. Why do you feel that this uncle is more naive than his own kid? I'm afraid that Hulk might have affected his brain, right? But he succeeded, and Samuel Stern, who is Mr. Lan, is indeed not a member of the military. Angela relentlessly refuted Kraft's complaints, and then added. However, the military did discover Bruce Banner's whereabouts. They are mobilizing troops and want to capture Bruce Banner. But according to my calculations, when the military arrives, Bruce Banner should be over. It's treated, so Hulk is unlikely to show up. Kraft shook his head. Tisk tisk, General Rose's luck, I don't know if it is good or bad. Although it has been determined that Hulk will probably say goodbye to the world, just in case, Kraft asked Angela to determine the location of the few people he cares about, and found that they are all far away from Bruce Banner, then continued to charge himself with the learning helmet. However, this thing is not a panacea. Inputting knowledge does not mean that Kraft can invent the props that have not appeared in the dream like the scientists in the dream. It can only make him understand the props that have appeared. The principle of this, and to some degree of modification, those scientists are really powerful, they are the unconstrained ideas. In addition, such as Dr. Dongyun and Dr. Zawan's completely illogical inventions, Kraft couldn't understand no matter how much knowledge he had input. This made him very curious about what kind of world those guys are in. What's the situation? It's a pity that in the dream, basically only the production process and testing process are shown, and other things can only be speculated by Kraft based on the contents of the book, interior furnishings, architectural styles and other details. It can be regarded as some of Kraft's little fun in the dream. After pouring part of the information in the dream into his head, Kraft took off his helmet and shook his slightly swollen head. After each installation, he needs a little time to digest the content. I really don't know what's in the dream. How did that Tong Di absorb the knowledge of an entire library in an hour? Kraft slumped on the chair like a salted fish, and a white gloved mechanical arm stretched out on each side of the chair, pressing on his temples on both sides, and constantly rubbing them. There is a problem with Bruce Banner. Just as Kraft eased back slightly and was about to practice the knowledge he had just absorbed, Angela's phantom appeared in front of him again. Without waiting for Kraft to ask questions, Angela projected the image over there onto the wall. A yellow-green monster is wrecking havoc on the street. Its appearance is more hideous than Hulk. Its whole body has distinct joints and a row of spikes on its back. If Hulk looks like a bodybuilder from a gym, then this monster is a veteran black boxer who has been fighting in the underground boxing ring for a long time. Hulk. Come out for me. The yellow-green monster grabbed a car and slammed it into the Sky military helicopter, roaring loudly. What the hell is this TM? The first thing Kraft thought of was the blood that Bruce Banner sent to Samuel Stern. Could this guy be the Mr. Blue? He's not blue either. From the previous conversations with the military, he seems to be the officer responsible for capturing Hulk. Uh. So this is General Rose's whole card against Hulk, but it seems to be out of control. When searching for information about Hulk, I did see that General Ross was conducting research on Super Soldier Serum, but the location was not in New Mexico, so it was excluded by Kraft at the time. How did he make the Super Soldier Serum look like Hulk? It seems that this officer had privately injected Hulk's serum at Samuel Stern's. Angela answered Kraft in time. Okay. General Rose, you're so unlucky. The son-in-law becomes a monster, and his subordinates become monsters. It would be funny if his daughter and even himself become monsters in the future. Thinking of this, a malicious smile appeared on Kraft's face. As General Ross, as the official representative of America's official hawks, Kraft was naturally happy to watch his jokes. Just like Hulk can't stop Hulk, ordinary soldiers can't stop the monster turned into by the name Emil Bronsky. Because it's in the center of the city, many heavy weapons can't be used at all, so besides hiding in in addition to firing a few painless bullets in the distance, it was impossible to make any effective blows. However, from the perspective of General Rose's past behavior, it is estimated that this Iron Hawk guy will not be able to bear it for long. After all, the guy who is wreaking havoc in New York is his subordinates, and he won't get it done, and he is afraid that he will be taken afterwards. The military court, in fact, even if General Ross had solved the monster now, he would have nothing to eat. Anyway, it's the old hapless guy. As Kraft guessed, after most of the civilians were evacuated, General Ross no longer considered the surrounding losses and ordered his men to start using heavy weapons such as artillery shells. The impact generated by the violent explosion of the gunpowder was temporarily delayed. 
the footsteps of that monster made him even more violent. Bronsky, who had put most of his mind on forcing Hulk to show himself, began to actively attack his former comrades. The army that had only gained a small amount of victory suffered heavy losses in an instant. So Hulk appeared. Two green monsters fought each other on the streets of New York, but compared to Hulk, who was transformed by a researcher, Bronsky was much stronger in fighting skills. After Hulk rushed up, he was beaten by a fat meal. Didn't it mean that Hulk's problem has been solved? Kraft doesn't care about the victory or defeat between the two monsters. In his opinion, as long as America is willing to be cruel, it will be no problem to kill them forcibly. According to data analysis, Hulk's current strength is much weaker than before. Angela listed a group of comparative data, and then released the research data from Samuel. The potion should have worked, but the existence of Hulk is more difficult than expected. Um. This solution does not seem to be a problem. Kraft carefully reviewed Samuel's research materials and pointed his head from time to time. In order to prevent zombie viruses and other things, he also had a lot of knowledge in biological sciences himself, so he understood Samuel's materials and did not not difficult. According to the above description, Hulk's problem can indeed be solved theoretically. Moreover, Hulk has not appeared before, and now it is obviously weakened. Obviously, this plan has worked, but the mutation in Dr. Banner's body is much more tenacious than they expected. That said, isn't Dr. Banner getting cold? After Dr. Banner became Hulk, he chose Suo Chun to live alone, which made Kraft a little bit favored by him. However, today's development seems to be the same as that of Kraft. He just made such a conclusion, he was beaten in the face again. Hulk's power is recovering quickly. Angela brought up the battle screen again. In the video, Hulk has changed from being beaten by Bronski to playing back and forth. On the side, the strength value of Hulk calculated by Angela is also rising rapidly. The power Hulk has shown now far exceeds his previous record. Ah. I can see. The battle in the video is completely different from the beginning. The arrogant Bronski is now like a huge amounts of ragsack, slapped arbitrarily by Hulk in his hand, with no resistance. So, how is this done? After all, is the copycat losing to the original? Kraft felt inexplicably as if he had been connoted. According to the collected data, Hulk's strength should be related to his emotions. The more angry, the stronger the strength. Angela didn't know the complicated activities in Kraft's heart. She spoke her own analysis at a glance, and called up the video of Hulk quieting down because of Betty Rose. It's actually emotions. What kind of third-rate love science fiction movie is this? Kraft smacked his lips. He suddenly felt that the technology of his own world didn't seem to be so logical. This man-made disaster finally ended in Hulk's victory. After defeating the monster Bronski had turned into and was named the Abomination, he once again broke through the encirclement of the military and escaped. The General Ross, who was in charge of this plan, not only failed to catch Hulk, but also ran away with his daughter. Besides, he still had to face a lot of accusations and compensation. That Bronski, who didn't know whether he was alive or dead, might be a comfort, but compared with the series of censures he will face, it is only a drop in the bucket. However, the subsequent development made Kraft a little surprised. General Ross was only called off all Hulk-related matters, and then handed over part of the rights and interests in his hand. There was no more shit, no dismissal and demotion, and no military court. Not even apologized. It can only be said that it is indeed America. But these things have nothing to do with Kraft. He is now struggling with his next direction. Before Hulk appeared, he was only a little bit urgency, because the power that Hulk showed at the time was terrifying, that the U.S. military was not incapable of dealing with it. Kraft also thought that they wanted to capture Hulk alive, so he had a chance to be able to keep running away. But after the appearance of hatred and Hulk showed stronger power, Kraft finally began to worry. In fact, no matter how strong Hulk is, the problem is not big, because Dr. Banner's will is restricting him not to wreak havoc. Although it is dangerous, it is not a problem that must be faced. However, in addition to Hulk, there are also a large group of lunatics conducting similar human experiments. Who knows one day a monster that is more destructive than Hulk and more uncontrollable will appear. Kraft was really worried that one day, the world would be collapsed by those silly darings. His previous idea was to slowly develop the Dreamland toy company, and then spend a few years to build himself into a genius similar to Tony Stark, and gradually expand the business scope of the Dreamland company, and quietly establish his own arsenal. And then began to make those huge amounts of war weapons in the Dreamland. Anyway, you are still young, so don't worry too much. But now it seems that the earth seems to be unable to withstand the tossing of those lunatics. Maybe the earth has been tossed and broken before Kraft can develop. Kraft, who had seen the besieged city of zombies in his dreams, really didn't think he was worrying. 
so he feels that he should speed up the progress of scientific research, but in this way, he is likely to expose his special features, and as a person of color, he does not think he can get any preferential treatment in America, but uses dream toys. The current power of the company and Martin Lee may not be able to resist pressure from the government. And now Kraft can think of several solutions, all seem to be flawed. One is to shift the development direction of most of the Dreamland Corporation and Martin's industries to aviation, and then go outside the earth to open bases, but doing so will also attract official attention, and the behavior is too abrupt and easy to be caught. People doubt. Entering the seabed or building a base underground is Kraft's idea when making slow development plans. If you want to speed up the construction, such a big move will definitely attract attention. Or, as he often considered before, he returned to China and then sought official cooperation, but Martin seemed to be very resistant, and from the data obtained by Kraft, there were similar experiments in China. In addition, after cooperating with the official, he himself the degree of freedom will definitely be reduced, so if it is not desperate, Kraft does not want to choose this one. After struggling for a long time, Kraft returned home with a sad face and told his adoptive father about his thoughts, hoping that he could give himself a solution. After listening to Kraft's thoughts, Martin Lee began to stare at him with a strange look. Kraft was staring so uncomfortably, he twisted his body and wondered, why are you looking at me like this? Although I don't know where your inexplicable sense of crisis comes from. Martin Lee's tone is a little weird, as if he is holding a smile, but Kraft, you seem to forget that you have a handful of objects that can be zoomed in and out at will, like gun? Damn it. Forgot this. Kraft patted his forehead annoyedly. With the flashlight changing at will, he's still entangled in a fart. He can completely shrink his arsenal and place it in his room for manufacturing. If he wants to use it after manufacturing, he can just enlarge it directly. Even if you dream of the universal capsule technology in the future, you don't even need to prepare the magnifying lamp. It must have been too much stuff in my mind recently, which made my thinking become sluggish. Knowing he was stupid, Kraft touched his head in embarrassment, and continued to face Martin Lee's smiley eyes, making excuses and slipping back to his room. I still haven't finished my homework, so I will go back to my room to do my homework. Quinn tilted his head, sticking out his tongue to catch up with Kraft, and asked while circling around his feet, Big brother, didn't you leave your homework to Harlow a long time ago? Martin Lee's face changed when he saw Kraft fleeing, and a little smile appeared, Kraft. Stupid dog meow. Beja shook her tail and rolled over in Alice's arms, exposing her belly so that she could continue to massage herself. After finding a solution, Kraft, with a sense of urgency, simply asked Martin to take a long vacation from the school. Martin Lee didn't want to agree, but Kraft's entanglement was not easy, and he had a learning helmet. Kraft's grades occupied the first place for a long time, so he finally agreed. Kraft cleared a large vacant lot in his studio for the arsenal to be built next. At the beginning, he also considered whether to use the entire basement or something, but after thinking about it, he has Angela on his side for protection. There is no need to waste that time, and he usually puts the reduced factories on the bright side. Directly disguised as a model or the like, and no neuropath would think that those models are real arsenals. As for the design drawings of the arsenal, Kraft did not copy any of the dreams, but redesigned it according to his own knowledge and personal needs, and in order to allow Angela and Harrow to help build it, he had also deliberately removed those devices with exclusive features of the dream world and replaced them with devices with similar functions in the world. After the design drawing was completed, Kraft did not rush to do it, but made several construction robots called SCV, which also came from the world of Swan, but he was not the protagonist of the dream at the time. Give the control of the reduced SCV to Angela and Harrow, Kraft doesn't need to do it himself, just watching them control a group of small SCV robots and build an arsenal on the cleared space. Model. There is actually a feeling of playing a holographic simulation strategy game. Kraft, who doesn't need to go to school, moved directly to the studio as he was obsessed with research in the past. If Alice hadn't agreed to Martin Lee, he would take him out to walk the cats and dogs every day when he came over. It is absolutely impossible to take a step out of the laboratory. Even if he was going out to walk his pets, Kraft would have filled himself with a lot of dream knowledge before that, and then let Quinn lead him around with his head, not so much to walk Quinn with Alice. And Beja, it's better to say that Alice is slipping the three of them. Although the arsenal has been reduced, the manufacturing speed will not increase much. At most, it can be directly enlarged in transportation and so on. It can be taken directly by hand. How much time should it take for the rest? And some of the more, unscientific, machinery, Kraft cannot be completely handed over to Angela and Harrow to make, he must take the SCV to participate in it. Definitely this kind of personal participation is not a chore for Kraft. He is also happy to practice some practice to further familiarize himself with the knowledge he has recently poured into his head. An unknown flight object appeared over New York. 
Just when Kraft drove the SCV in his miniature arsenal and had a great time, the Red Queen suddenly sent a message and cut the screen to the screen inside the SCV. A silver white tin man was flying around New York in a er a bit feminine posture, except for his hands and feet that were emitting white light, the most conspicuous thing was the round lead light on his chest. What is this? When did I fall asleep? Kraft, who has long been different from what he used to be, can see the technical content of the tin man in the video at a glance. In fact, even if there is no such black technology knowledge, people with a slightly normal mind can know that this thing can't be casual. It was done, and its advanced level gave Kraft the illusion of watching those big guys doing experiments in a dream. This is the military's secret weapon. When did they have plans to develop exoskeleton armor? According to the information tracked in the video, this tin man flew out of Tony Stark's beach villa, and from the point of view of body size, the thickness of the exoskeleton armor is roughly the same as Tony Stark himself. As Angela explained, she released the corresponding data. Tony Stark? Kraft was stunned. Didn't he encounter a terrorist attack in the Middle East? Recently obsessed with building his own miniature arsenal, Kraft has no intention of paying attention to the news from the outside. Otherwise, he would not have known the two news that Stark survived and Stark Industries stopped selling weapons. At the moment, the popularity of these news hasn't subsided. Angela can find a few pieces of relevant information from the internet and forward it to Kraft to watch. This. Well. Kraft scratched his head. The playboy was lucky enough to escape from the terrorists, but. Didn't he say to shut down Stark Industries weapons manufacturing? What is this thing? Kraft pointed to the Tin Man who was rampaging over New York like a missile in the picture. He felt that what Stark said in the press conference before was bullshit. This thing is much more dangerous than the arms he sold before. Bar. Maybe he doesn't plan to sell. Angela responded casually, and then asked eagerly. Do you need me to hack into this Tin Man's system? Dot you really like fighting with Jarvis. Kraft, who had crawled out of the SCV, looked at the phantom of Angela beside him speechlessly. Communicating with other artificial intelligences can accelerate the evolution of my behavioral logic. Angela replied solemnly, so you call that communication? Kraft twitched his mouth, then thought for a while, and said, in this case, I will also test the equipment made in the past few days, Angela, you go to Stark to write a statement. Yes. Angela saluted a military salute excitedly, and then it turned into a spot of light and dissipated. Her behavioral logic has indeed strengthened a lot, and it has become more and more human. It's just a bit militant. Woohoo. Tony Stark, who was driving the Mark E, just got out of the icing crisis. The strong stimulation made him utter a loud roar. An unknown intrusion found. An unknown intrusion found. The flashing red light and the rapid alarm interrupted Tony Stark who was enjoying the flight. Is it possible to invade Mark E? Tony Stark was taken aback, and quickly remembered the artificial intelligence he had encountered before going to the Middle East, Red Queen? Hello, Mr. Stark. On the screen inside Mark E, a line of subtitles appeared before Stark's eyes. It's been a long time. If you are here to find Jarvis, you can go directly to my residence. You see, I'm busy now. Finding that the intruder was an old acquaintance, Tony Stark was a little relieved, but he is still high in the sky, he should be on guard, and he used witty words to deal with the Red Queen, controlling Mark E to land down. Want to test the combat abilities of your tin shell? Angela delivered the message for Kraft. This is, an appointment? Tony Stark raised his eyebrows, and then agreed. After all, even if the Red Queen did not come to the door, he originally had the idea of testing the steel battlesuit battle ability, and he was very curious about what kind of person the Red Queen was like. I agree, time and place. It's better to hit the sun than to choose a day, it's now. The opposite quickly responded and gave a mark on the map. Isn't this near my house? Stark raised his eyebrows again, and it seemed that the other party did not have any hostility but was only interested in his own invention, as if he was also interested in the other party. No problem, I'll go there and wait for you first. Resolutely accepted the invitation of the Red Queen, Stark controlled Mark E to fly to his beach villa. And Kraft didn't let him wait too long. Not long after Tony Stark landed on the coast, he received a report from Jarvis. An unknown flight has appeared above you, sir. Stark looked up, but I didn't see anything, Jarvis. The opponent seems to be using some advanced stealth camouflage. Jarvis switched the screen in Mark E to a thermal image, and Tony Stark could vaguely perceive the existence of some kind of flight device through the heat display of the jet port above it. That is, is the size of this flight machine a bit smaller? Is it used to take pictures? When Stark was puzzled, a small black dot jumped out of the invisible flight device, and then turned into a file size 2 meters high in midair and fell in front of him with one knee. 
Then the figure stood up slowly, revealing his true face. This is a dark gray military helmet and a combat vest of the same color. The whole body is orange, dotted with several huge brown spots, and it looks like a mouse and a dog. Muppet. Tony Stark was stunned, and looked at the strange creature in front of him, raising his hand and waving to him, and let out an imposing sound, Fumo.